up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Nerd Theory Podcast. Uh, I said I was going to give a free Darth Vader smooth swing lightsaber away in uh, on Twitter. So I just posted. Man, it's smooth. It is smooth. I just posted the post right now on Twitter, so you can go and retweet and comment. And I also did it on Instagram, so you can do it there too. And I would be much obliged if you would subscribe to my gaming channel at Theories Arcade, because that helps too. Boom. Boom, baby. What's going on? So what's going on, bro? How you been? You know, just that crazy afterglow of uh, that Mandalorian episode. I'm still riding yeah. really high, bro. Yeah, like, me too. I'm still riding really high. It was a great episode. Um, it was it was incredible. It was incredible. Um, I know it, Ahsoka's appearance hasn't been sort of unanimously praised. There's a few people that have certain issues with it and things like that. Yeah, whatever. Um, but I think the overwhelming majority of people think it's dope. I think it's dope. Yeah, I think it was great. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't see the problem. Oh, oh, whatever. The the Montrals or the the, the Leku are too are too short. It's like, well, I assume that's to probably, and I might be wrong. I assume that's to probably just make room for stunts yeah Movements? i would say so yeah uh, my thing was when people talked to me about that and it was only a few people that had like little complaints about it to me like it's such a weird thing to pull out like one particular aspect of a design and sort of isolate it and try to like well this one thing is wrong it's really more important like on the whole how does it look does it look like ahsoka yeah you know what i mean and does it move like ahsoka does it when you look at her does she, do, do, does it evoke the feelings of Ahsoka? Looks me, like was, Ahsoka, moves like Ahsoka, yeah. sounds like Ahsoka. The board. Yeah. There were moments where her design was, I thought, even maybe cooler than some animation I've seen. Like certain like angles, the the heroic angle after the bell falls down when she slices yeah. that bell in half, that yeah. heroic angle, bro. Come on. I watched it four times. It's incredible. Yeah, it was good. It's incredible. Let me ask you this. I think it works as like a standalone piece of art. The I whole episode? Had... Yeah. Yes. Yeah. E yeah. Everything. Everything was so beautiful. Like the way Dave did the whole the moon thing, that was probably for me that was a highlight. I don't know why. It was just yeah. so cinematic and so beautiful. Her and Grogu just sitting there. What do you think of the name? I actually like Grogu as a name. When I first heard it, I I like thought it was so absurd. That I was like, this cannot be true. It's you like know what Google. I mean? Like, like, yeah, yeah, true, true. It, it, I don't know. It works for him though. And then I think the thing that obviously sells it so hard is when Mando says it to him, and he has those little, you know, like these like, adorable little. So cute. Man. It's ridiculous, dude. It's like, even Mando? if you hated the name, the moment he did that, you were like, all nah, right. Yeah. Like, you know. So yeah, I love the name, man. What's that shirt you got there? Oh, this is an old denim nerd shirt. Old dead and we gotta, shirt, we gotta man. switch it up, man. I know, I know. So well, I, uh, I, I yeah, told you I'd I've, show you this on stream just so yeah. people could see. I'm gonna send you this little care package. Oh snap! So in there we got. Oh yeah. A t-shirt and then also hoodie. Nice. So I'm sure it'll I'm be pumped, your size. Man. Yeah. Oh, I'm pumped. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be repping for sure. Oh look, you even got a. You even got my dog's hair on it too. Haha! -ha! Floating through the air. An army of your dogs. Un unworn, yeah. Uh, I just picked it up today, so I will awesome, ship that man. to you. You gotta give me your um your info. Heck yeah, heck yeah, I appreciate you. Um but yeah, I mean I think for with regards to the episode, most Star Wars fans are just kinda in shock. The other thing that's crazy about it is Ahsoka might not even be the craziest thing that happens in the episode. Ahsoka might not be even the craziest reveal. Uh, for me, it was the um, his backstory that he's been around at the temple this whole time. For me, that was yeah mind blowing. It was that was wild. It's bonkers, right? Yeah. So you know who who saved him? Um, where was he during Order sixty six? Was he in there? Was he? I I don't know. Did Anakin let him go? <laughs> Did right. Palpatine find him? Because his memories go dark. Did yeah, Mace yeah, Windu exactly, get his yeah. Mace Windu alive? Did Oh, Jocasta knew the raggedy old librarian, annoying lady. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. Um, I mean, 
I'll tell you, my personal pick is Palps, and I know they just did Palpatine again with Rise, and so there's like a little bit of hesitance maybe there. But I don't know if there would be anything cooler than if they got him to come back and play Sheev before Anakin confronts him and Mace confronts him and have him be this warm well, presence. Yeah, and come so... And be like, Grogu. That's very interesting because there was a scene that we never got to actually see in the film. Um, but we see it in, in the recordings when Obi-Wan and Yoda check it out. So Sidious was at the temple after Anakin slayed all the Jedi during Order 66. What? I don't know if you picked that up. Yeah. That's in that's in what? The, Revenge of the Sith. The deleted, yeah, unless I'm totally scene. wrong. But yeah, so there's this scene. It's like... Um, when obi-wan's checking the security footage and then after like after he chokes out the 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 jedi and he like just kills all them you know with the one-handed move that was so badass um yeah. he's bowing to sidious and that's the security recordings at the temple why would the security Ooh. recordings be like palpatine's office or something great point right so Dang. palpatine walked through the temple at some point there yeah and yeah. i think Maybe he grabbed him. Don't know. So, do you remember the episode in Clone Wars where Cad Bane is hired to yeah. be stealing for sensitive children? Yeah. Yeah. And he's experimenting on them on Mustafar. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. Yeah. So, like, to me, I'm like, yeah, man. Pretty sure Big Daddy Palps grabbed little Grogu. It would actually make a lot of sense because if you if you consider... I mean, first of all, think about this. Ahsoka won't train him. Yeah. Right? That's weird. Yeah. He has the force choke ability. Well... You know what I mean? He grabs Kara up pretty good. You know? Yeah, that's not something the Jedi would teach him, but I think... Correct, yeah. I think this whole Ahsoka not training him thing... Mm. I think that's really just uh, uh, her character being exemplified as to what she's been through and that she's so... Uh, jaded by what Anakin did and what happened to Anakin that she's just like in this full belief that okay you cannot train a Jedi unless they're a certain age or uh, at a young age you can't train them after a certain age they can't have attachments this and that because look what happened whereas right. later on as they go they advance their knowledge and their thinking and even Yoda was like yeah you know what I think we were right. all wrong and that's why Dave said last year in the gallery that Qui-Gon was ahead of them because Qui-Gon had realized all of these things about attachment and that you should yeah. still be able to love and you still st should be able to be yeah. fatherly and, and yeah. Qui-Gon so, was the man. Yeah, absolutely. It's So there's so much interesting stuff at play and uh, I, I think it, I'm always just reminded and I always just like kind of give thanks to the fact that they've really mastered the ability to sort of build that suspense and that cliffhanger moment and... I mean, think about this. They could have easily just serviced us with Ahsoka. We would have all been very happy. But it but it wasn't that. It was specifically written to be more than that. Thrawn gets dropped. Grogu's past gets dropped. They're heading to freaking Tython. He's yeah. going to sit on a seeing stone. Yeah. Like, it, the show has become this... It, it really feels really pulpy to me and very, like, that serialized, sort of that Buck Rogers thing that, that George was really fond of. Old comic books were great at this, too. Just building that kind of anticipation. You need to read the next issue, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. It's a beautiful thing, man. It's a beautiful thing to be here. Yeah, me too. I agree. And I'm really happy that they're doing it. I think John Favreau... I've been a huge fan of John Favreau since before he touched Star Wars. And I think Dave Filoni is the man to... I think the two of them together are, are going to make things right. Yeah. You it's know? beautiful bromance dude and it's yeah. like it's so cool to see that it's flourished and like you know like this idea of them you know bringing their own separate like things that they like they're literally like just boys playing with toys basically you know what i mean and they're like just bringing yeah. in the stuff they like uh and just geeking out about it and um yeah it's it's really is a match made in heaven and i gotta tell you dude like it is so bold what this show is doing. Like, this show is literally called The Mandalorian. It starts out in season one about a guy we know nothing about out in the rim just doing jobs for other characters that we know nothing about. Yeah. 
And now all of a sudden, it seems like it's placing all these amazing, incredible Star Wars things into place and maybe potentially even fixing Luke Skywalker for some fans. It's insane. I never would have thought in a million years that like a, a small little show like this would take us to this sort of a place. It's crazy. I had I had theories in the beginning, but I was like, ah, eh, who knows? And then once was it before episode one or when we were just about to get season two or something like that? I put out this tweet, and that was, I think, the first time that I really made it vocal. I was like, you know what? I think Luke's going to come in here. I think, you know, Ahsoka's going to be cool. But I think the theme that er this show keeps following is like an Easter egg hunt throughout the galaxy. It's like, do this job, then it's going to, you know, lead you to this information, and then that information, it's going to unlock this other piece of information. You're going to be able to go to this planet. From there, you'll meet this person, you know, Bo-Katan, she's like, go meet Ahsoka. Ahsoka's like, I am i can't train him. Go here. And it's right. like this yeah, constant theme. Yeah. So it's like, once we go up this ladder, we keep going up this ladder of these different hierarchical characters, where does it end? I think Luke Skywalker is yeah. at that peak of the ladder, just waiting, yeah. you know? So here's how I think the season's going to end. Yeah, I'm actually writing a video on this right now. Um, nice. eh, totally, totally wrong. Just a theory. So, yeah. 7,000 people here. Hey, dude, that's the most we've ever had. Oh, <laughs> hello, everyone. That's cool. Shout out. Yeah. Hey, but 1,400 likes? What the hell is this? Yeah, we need a little more of those. That's weak, we'll dude. we call it early unless we get Yeah, well, we'll anything. see you later, guys. Yeah. Um, what the hell was I saying? <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, Sorry so... Yeah. yeah, so I think what could happen or a cool ending could be they go to the seeing stone i don't know if we'll, that'll be next episode or not maybe he's got to do another pit stop or something or find where titan is yeah. they go to the seeing stone finally sets grogu upon it grogu reaches out in the force i guess and the force answers back to him now titan is a place that is so so heavy on the understanding that the force needs to be balanced and that you should be using all sides of it meaning the dark and the light just using one side is actually dangerous yeah so Maybe the Sith will reach out to him. Maybe the dark side of, I don't know, where whoever in the galaxy could reach out to him. But while all this is happening, he could be making contact with maybe Luke, maybe Ezra, maybe Cal Kestis. I don't know. I'm hoping Luke. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. what I'm betting my money on. And during this time, as he's reaching out to him, boom, the battlefield just gets, well, not the battlefield, but the ground gets lit up with the Empire, with the Imperial fleet of Moff Gideon coming in because he's tracked the Razor Crest. Everything goes to shambles. The Dark Troopers come out. They start fighting. Mando uses the Beskar spear to, uh, I don't know, fight against Moff Gideon, and he gets bested. Moff takes Grogu, and uh, I don't know. In the end, Din is just heartbroken, doesn't know what to do. He's all beat up. Maybe his armor is all, like, half broken and stuff. And then... Luke comes in somehow, and we just see maybe like his hand or his lights over by his side. And where's the one who reached so out you to think me? He'll be the cliffhanger of this season. I th I hope so. Yeah, I think that would be so cool. Don't episode seven us again, Disney. Yeah, don't but at least but at least this would be a cool I one. Know, you know? I know. I feel you. But we thought the other one was cool actually. Until yeah, the other one was really there. cool until he threw cool. the entire um, thing over the cliff. <laughs> For real, for real. Okay, so let me ask you something. Before I give my thoughts on that, because there's a couple questions I have about your your ending scenario here. So, okay, so yeah, they're being tracked. So you think that the final battle is going to take place on Tython? Yeah. Okay. Do you think Boba shows up? That'd be cool. I mean, he's potentially tracking him as well, right? That'd be cool. Yeah. What about... What about Ben Solo? What about a young Ben Solo? But he's like, he what? He'd be seven like or four. Eight. It depends. Yeah, he'd be between six and eight, depending on the exact timeline. Because I've heard different things about Mando, but Mando's at least seven years. Wait, no. After... How... Yeah, because Mando's five ben years. Ben is born nine months after Endor. He's conceived on Endor. So we got freaky on Endor. Okay, but yeah, that's a, he's a celebration baby. He's like yeah, he's a know, we just beat the empire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we he's just like beat the empire. Let's baby, let's whatever. bring it back with this kid. Yeah, this <laughs> demon. Let's take him back to the nineties. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. God. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but I thought John said this is five years after. I've heard so I've heard that, but I've also heard him say seven. 
I've heard between oh. yeah, and I think Him? the truth is they have a they have a yeah. I think they've got a a time period. Yeah. So let me ask you this: If he rolled up with Laura Santeca and a young Ben Solo, what would you think? Like, what would you what would your reaction be? It'd be pretty cool. Yeah, it'd be kind of cool, huh? Yeah, it'd be sweet. Yeah, I really. And then and then hope... him and and Grogu could be friends. Yeah, well, okay, so, yeah. I think the reason this would be so cool is because the one thing that Ben doesn't have that, like, Anakin has and Luke has is, like, we've spent more time with them around family, right? Like, all the moments we have with Ben in the sequels are, like, after this long, yeah. crazy history with his family, like, the moment he kills his dad, him almost killing his mom, like, and then that moment with his dad in Rise, right? So, we don't have any of, like, the good moments or, like, there's no... I don't know. Like, there's just a lot missing from his story. Yeah. And I think seeing, like, a young version of him, and, and I think he... If he would be, like, afraid of Grogu or maybe, like, him and Grogu had some kind of... Uh, a moment that wasn't necessarily the best or whatever. I guess what I'm saying is I'd really like to see a little of that dark side teased out in Ben Solo and I'd like Luke to see it too you know there's this dude I, I can't remember what novel or comic it is maybe someone in the chat knows all 8200 of you what the hell <laughs> that's so cool a couple people watching yeah. there's a couple people watching that's so cool for a podcast <laughs> thanks guys right. um yeah. what the hell was I saying again <laughs> Jesus um, I need novel, to get some comic, sleep. Maybe about Ben. Yeah. Okay. So no. So apparently, I can't. Dude, I can't remember the name of it. But anyways, uh, the first time Anakin killed someone in Legends, like yeah. this is like Deep Flesh, uh, he set someone on fire <laughs> with the Force. What? Yeah. And Obi Wan, Obi Wan was like, <laughs> maybe this was a mistake. So dude, wow. I mean, I didn't even think about young Ben getting it in. Yeah. Like, imagine he would do something crazy. like that. Yeah. yeah, dude. Right. Yeah. yeah. That would be awesome. That would be incredible. That'd be cool. Because the, the other thing about this is, if that scenario plays out, you can't imagine Ben has been on a lot of missions with regards to combat. I have not been following the comics super... I, I know he's had, like, interactions with Snoke, and then, like, he leaves. But it looks like when he leaves the temple, he's, like, 14 or 15. So he's had... Depending on when Leia sends him to train with Luke I had people in my chat telling me it was like he was 10 when he got sent but the the old Jedi way was like right around 7 or 8 was like that perfect age right Anakin was oh, like younger than that man no old. no yeah. it's like you gotta like you gotta be from the earlier the better young right they so say potentially yeah. Ben could have been sent when he was 5 I mean he was around I'm sure he was around his uncle all the time you know when he was a baby so he's probably been trained the whole since yeah. he was well i think the thing was leia because if you, i think it's in bloodline and then it's in um the leia novel the whole thing was that leia essentially feels really guilty about sending ben away and she's just focused on politics so like her her, her like han's doing han stuff leia's just doing politics they're not good parents to ben which is why he ends up the way he does in some ways right yeah um but he she sends him to Luke very early on, and then in Bloodline, when it comes out that she's Vader's daughter, which ruins her political career. Yeah. Um. W when that comes out, she sends a message to Ben, hoping to reach him before the galaxy does. Like before he finds out on Twitter, basically, <laughs> she sends him a heartfelt message, which she should have done, you know, years ago. Yeah. Um. But uh, yeah, so. It would it could be totally possible. And again, another pretty wild little sequel, um you know, a little tie into the sequels potentially with uh an underutilized character. Yeah. That could be cool. I really want to learn more about Santeca. Lore Santeca. Yeah. Because it's yeah. like he must have known him when he was a kid. Yeah, look how look how old, old you become, become. Right? yeah. Right. So they were hanging when he was much younger. And we, we know very little about the Church of the Force as well. That was always really intriguing to me. It was like, okay, so there's these sort of mystics that worship the force, but they're not force sensitive. They have affinity for the Jedi. They almost feel like um 
the is wizards it? that have no powers. What like yeah. bitch or whatever? What's his name? Stuart Imwe. No, no, I'm sorry, I, was, I flipped to Harry Potter. What the janitor? Filch. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because yeah, he's like a wizard, but he doesn't have any powers. Right? Yeah. 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 He's useless. That's like lore and yeah. a little bit, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, there's just enthusiasts. Yeah. Like, what right. happened to me? I guess, uh, like, uh, Palpatine's clone son. Right, exactly. Son. Because, yeah, yeah. So, that would be really cool, man, to see a little bit more of that. And, uh, you know, too, again, uh, you know, who knows for sure. You know, we don't know. This is just rumors. But um, there was a rumor of a young Ben Solo project earlier this year. Yeah. So something. And everyone came, was shipping you know, for Finn Wolfhard. Yes. Which would have been cool. Which would, which would be great. Yeah. Um, and then I see something else on Twitter a lot that people are posting that the Razor Crest was in The Force Awakens. Um, did you see that? I saw that it was potentially in Rise. I didn't see that it was in The Force Awakens. Yeah, so when she's talking to Han Solo and he's like, oh, you want to be a member of the crew or whatever. So it's it's right in the background behind the trees, but it's I don't think that's actually the Razor Crest at all. Because if you look at it, okay. people are just looking at the front, they're looking at the jets. But if you look at the back, it's completely different. The color's different. I mean, maybe you got like a paint job or something by then. Maybe, I don't know. But it looks like a completely different ship. So, I don't know. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't, but I guess we'll see. Yeah, who knows? I mean, we'll have to see if Din's even alive for that kind of stuff. Um, could be. Uh, yo, can I talk to you about Force-sensitive uh, Din Djarin and how I'm pretty sure Mando's Force-sensitive? I don't think he is. You want to hear my case? Can I plead sure. the case to you? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so. The main reason I think this is because Grogu doesn't communicate like normally like with basic at all right he's 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 a child but i think there might also be something else going on there maybe like developmental or something because he seems to like just communicate through the force but if you think about it din has been communicating with him this whole time and in fact they show you in this episode at the beginning that he tells him to get back in his seat and he listens to him he knows what he's saying you know what i mean beyond that there's a moment when he's training him, when Ahsoka tells him something like, reach out or something. And dude, Dave does this crazy little zoom with this chime. It's like, mm, and y Baby Yoda like, or Grogu perks right up. And I'm telling you, dude, he felt that connection to Din immediately. And that's when he grabs the, the thing. And if you think about it- Yeah, but that's like you talking Din to your was, dog. What's the difference? Well, the difference is that... It's like, yo, stay. They stay, girl. They specifically mentioned... Sit. What's up? It's like, sit. Stay. Come. Yeah, it's like, but they specifically it's mentioned that that only way he communicates is via the Force. That they, like, feel each other's thoughts through the Force. So, I'm just saying, like, it... Watch the scene again mm. when he does... It's what Ahsoka says to Din, and then I'm telling you, dude, watch that little zoom they do. They do this little zoom... And like Baby Yoda like perks up, and it, dude, I'm telling you, when you watch it again, you'll be like, damn, it is, it's the Force. Um, eh. I'm telling you, bro. And think about this: if he was Force sensitive, it would make his initial thing with the child make so much more sense. Like, why would he not kill the child? Why would the child then? save him from the mud horn because then there would be like, no show <laughs> well yeah I but i'm know. telling you man they're they are like connected i just like, feel like that would be too way. much man too many force sensitive people. like they like just keeping grogu as the one is cool and then mando is you know a mercenary he's cool it's just i don't know too much at that point i think for me i think that the way they could do it is to have Din because he's Mandalorian like remember when Kanan was training Sabine and he says something yeah. to the effect of like you know everybody has access to the force but she's so stubborn that she won't let it in and and Hera basically kind of comments like yeah she's so Mandalorian and I think the whole thing with Tar Vizsla the reason that was crazy is because like Mandalorians are so like visceral and physical and like 
stubborn and closed off that like you wouldn't think a Mandalorian would ever open themselves up uh, to the force. Maybe. So you're saying we're gonna get like a Steve Rogers Mjolnir moment. I think Din could be a a, a force sensitive Mandalorian and maybe the first one that's ever that's happened in a long long time and that he might be the because the other because if he's not I see no reason as to why he would rule or get the dark saber instead of Boba or Bo right he has no right to it I don't think he should get it yeah unless he's the first force sensitive Mandalorian in centuries yeah right yeah I guess. So I don't know. It's just we're you know we're just fanboying out. I think out, I think I think know. Moff Gideon should get it, if anyone's gonna get it. Well, he's I think. Got it. <laughs> right. I think you should keep it. Yeah. Um, because that just makes it more interesting. Because then, if you give it to to one of the good guys, it's like, well, struggle's over. Uh, oh, 100 percent. I don't think he should get it uh, right away. But even if he did get it right away, he's already introduced Thrawn as like yeah another level of threat that is, even if he were to have it and you know what i mean let me ask you this do you think thrawn is above moff absolutely yeah 100 percent. yeah you think he's gonna kill him who thrawn's gonna kill gideon yeah kind of no, like a tarkin so. and a, a krennic no, dynamic uh no 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 uh thrawn is definitely not like that in fact in the canon the new stuff his crew actually loves him. His Imperial crew really because he does he's not like the other Imperials. I don't he's see like, I don't see Gideon answering to anybody though. It doesn't seem that he would, does it? But a Grand Admiral would be above him off, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, someone in the a bunch of people in the stream on um when I was doing the watch party, which shout out to you guys, twenty one thousand of you, which was yeah, that's, that's really cool. And now we got ninety two hundred people live. That's pretty sweet. Pretty ridiculous, that's pretty dude. that's pretty ridiculous yeah, yeah, yeah i mean we're yeah, just yeah. two star wars nerds like i know right? we appreciate yeah. it we love you guys um where was i i don't know bro uh, it's these it's these fridays man because i i stay up and i stream the bro. whole day and then i do the watch party and then i stay up till about 10 or 11 a.m doing the breakdown oh, I'm and then i destroying my soul yeah from this whole thing oh i'm four sure. and a half years into destroying my brain cells i i notice yeah, i talk slower no. and i just i'm like forgetting things and oh man saturday i did a stream for members and i was like i hadn't slept like yeah. since monday <laughs> like, yeah. kind of like you know what I mean? like i had a crazy ass week so i was like uh yeah it was very very but we're so up. lucky to be really... able to do what we do you know yeah oh yeah absolutely it's dude. so cool it is, it is crazy yeah it's crazy cool it's an honor um i love it's it it's a good time to be yeah. doing it too man star wars is back baby yeah that's the thing it's like um you know i could make fan fictions and all that till the cows come home but when you have actual canon new stuff coming in it just yeah. puts this whole new it's like a blood transfusion ironically yeah ironically yeah. put and, and, with and a high we m count for it dude we were ready for it and i think um <clears throat> it's just really cool because like you know there was a lot of sort of question or trepidation about like how bad would the damage be from the sequels you know like how how really divided was the fan base would people really not come back to star wars it, you know how yeah. and uh you know you, again you got to give credit to mando and the whole team and john and dave and everybody because it's it's ridiculous like season two smacked us in the face dude like it, it's taking no prisoners it's it's grabbing you by the face and being like all the star wars stuff you love is bad yeah. you know and it's just it's crazy so yeah. um we're really really lucky but i will say this too to your question about moff gideon dude there is no way that feloni introduces thrawn without him being like the baddest out dude like there's just no way and did you notice the thing on the uh the droids the antenna no, they have insignia from the Seventh Fleet on the side. Of I didn't even notice that. HK droids. Right on, yeah. dude. I didn't even notice. Yeah. And that probably means that when Homeboy was talking about getting back to the fleet in, what was that, episode three? Mm hmm. With, with that Bo. He's probably talking about the Seventh Fleet. Thrawny Boy. Thrawn's fleet. Okay. Yeah. That's so, cool. 
yeah, there's some crazy possibilities that we're heading to, man. So like, apparently, it's also confirmed that that the person that was um that rigged or that tra put the tracker on the Razor Quest quest is the same one from um, Squadrons. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. That's pretty interesting. Um, yeah, Supposedly. man, I don't know. As soon as I saw that guy, I was like, man, that guy's no good, dude. I'm telling you right now. And it's crazy that <laughs> he has them bugged. Like, dude, what a wild setup. Like, we're heading towards three weeks of pure insanity, ladies and gentlemen. Like, yeah. we're heading to Tython with a baby that has some dark mystery. Yeah. Fr Friggin' Thrawn, Thrawn is involved. They're tracking him. Boba's been lurking since episode one. Do you think we're going to see Ahsoka again? I do. I do. And if you want to talk about that, actually, let me pull something up. I um, don't. I think a, she was just like a like an entrance thing into like her own show. I thought that... Same with Boba. I thought that at first about Ahsoka... You're not going to gonna show a leak or something, right? I don't want to see it. No. No. No leak. No leak. But I heard this, and I want to see if it's true from the chat. Maybe somebody can check us on this. Does any, if people follow him, apparently, on Rosario Dawson's story on IG, she thanked Simon Kaziendas for a story post he made about Ahsoka and said it was amazing, amazing working with him and unforgettable and mentions the Mandalorian. That probably confirms that she comes back as he was not involved in the last episode. Oh, maybe they shot something so. for season three. Totally possible. Totally possible. I will say, when I before last week, I would have said no. She's one off for sure. Yeah, you know what I mean. She's so one off like. for sure. Um, I really don't think so anymore. I think, in fact, I have half a mind that she sent him to Tython, and she has every intention of following. Of him. being there. Cool. Mm -hmm. that's wow. What I, think. I mean, cool. I don't know, but yeah, that's kind of what I. That's the vibe I get, man. Imagine that kid. she shows up there, and then that's cool. Dark troopers show I mean, up. Luke, to, to have her and Luke in a scene together. I mean, like, I'm just. Well, I don't know. I, I don't want to get too hyped, and, and you know what I mean. If some of this doesn't happen, maybe we'll be disappointed. I, I don't know. Me, me wishing for Luke is one thing. Me wishing for Ahsoka and Luke is like. I don't know, probably not gonna happen. That'd be mind blowing. <laughs> yeah, it'd be cool. And Ezra. I mean, like, I mean, and like the thing is, like. It is potentially really crazy, like, and if anything, we've been blown away and surprised at almost every corner of this season. So, it, at this point, like, would you really, like, there's no hill anymore that I'm really willing to die on as far as, like, impossibility for the show. If you, I would have made a very hefty bet against Luke showing up before seeing these episodes, and now it feels like the opposite, where it's like, it feels like the smart money's on Luke. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So... It would just seem weird if he wasn't in there. It's like now out of place if he's yeah, not going to be in the show. So I hope he is. I hope he is. And, and I think I it, just, think it, it makes sense. That What's that? Yeah. I don't think they would. Like, I think John and Dave are pretty cognizant of what the fans want. I think they know for sure that if they start setting this up and don't do Luke, that there's going to be disappointed people. Like, I just... There's always going to be disappointed people. And I, I, they don't strike me as the kind of people that um, tailor their story to the fans. They just make the story that the fans will like regardless because at the end of the day, they understand Star Wars. And that's all it is. <laughs> so I slightly disagree only insofar as the big difference there is that they themselves are fans. Because like, I agree with you. Yeah. They're, like, they're not going to let the fans drive it. But because they are so sweaty themselves... They tend to probably line up with what most fans would do, anyways, with bringing stuff in. Well, so right, that's, so that's right. That's they're, it. Because yeah. they're fans, so they think the same way a fan would. Right. Yeah. So we all think pretty much alike for the most part. Yeah. And we're using the Star yeah. Wars universe as things to draw upon, so you know it just makes sense mm -hmm. of what they're going to draw upon next. Yeah, man. It is. Uh, yeah, it's pretty. And we all know pretty... we saw an unfortunate Luke, not the real Luke. In the sequel, right. so I mean, it only makes sense that they would want to be like, well, you know what? Right. Maybe we can so what do you make change it of, up. Uh, Sebastian Stan, do you think that that's 
probable? You think because I was talking about this earlier today, and I was like, well, he's already in the Disney family. He's yeah. already shooting Disney Plus stuff. Yeah. It would be pretty easy to at least try it out. And uh, what if he? Uh, what if he's the guy? Works for me. Works for me. I'm hoping he's yeah. the guy, man. Yeah. I, I. I think he could carry if if it looked good. You know, we'd have to see it. But I think he could do a whole series. Let I me tell you something about series, series. from what I saw from John Favreau uh, when I was at celebration at the panel. He just seems like a dude that is not caught up in the stardom. He's not caught up in the glamour and the, the lights and the sparkle of Hollywood. He is a professional and he knows what he's doing. And when he was talking about The Mandalorian before it came out, before we got to see that, that clip, you remember that clip? The one that only we got to see in that room. It, he struck me as the kind of guy that like knows what to do with a story. Yeah. And he's passionate about it, which is more than I can say about, you know, other people who have led Star Wars. Right. About Star Wars, at least, not about telling a story. Right. Mm -hmm. yep. So I think uh, whatever he does next, it's going to be dope. It's so going to be good. Do you think it's possible? Because I've been thinking about this a lot. Do you think it's because, you know, I think, you know, we call it the Filoni verse, and, and one of the reasons is because it's so many of the characters that Dave had sort of either created or fostered uh, in his animated shows. Um, you think it's possible that, like, they did a thing where Dave's doing the TV stuff, and then John's going to really do the movies, and then they're going to sort of work in sort of tandem together? You think that's possible? Sure. Maybe. Cool. No. I didn't think of it like that. I just want them working together, you know? Yeah. Yeah. No, and I only ask because, uh, again, there's a um, Is that what you think? What's up? Yeah. I mean, it, I, okay. So, originally, I didn't think that was going to be the way. I thought that they were going to keep John doing Disney Plus stuff because, I mean, Mando's just so incredible. And, uh, you know, I, I felt like if it's not broke, don't fix it sort of thing. But then, of course, you know, losing Dan and Dave and, and, and you know, there being... Uh, difficulty finding someone to, to replace I think it's possible that they were like well John would you be interested in maybe helping us shepherd in the film stuff uh, and then helping Dave and then maybe bridging the gap because I have a theory that we could potentially see the finale of Mandalorian maybe at uh, episode or uh, season four like the finale right uh, actually in theaters and the mm. whole show could lead up to a theatrical event that pays off a lot of these different characters, oh, wow. uh, you know, as well. Yeah, I think that's totally possible. Um, so, and John is also the kind of guy that loves, he loves technology. He's a lot like George in this way, right? Where he loves technology and innovation and, and being on the, the cusp of the next big thing. I mean, the volume is essentially that. It is an idea. It, it's just a natural progression of, all these different ideas yeah um and so he might be interested in being like okay what are we going to do with cinema now you know that streaming is kind of the thing it is the thing especially with everything going on in the world and i think yeah. it will always be i mean even before that netflix was huge it was the thing yeah you know so yep. people need to make a new name for disney plus what disney Disney Plus and cuddle. <laughs> Disney Plus and have a respectable evening. Or something, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Something super brand safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. super brand safe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Disney Plus and popcorn. I don't know. Yeah. Disney Plus and having a piece of American pie with ice cream on it. I guess that only applies to Americans, but yeah. Disney Plus and family time. I don't know. There you go. Whatever. Yeah. Whoa! Yeah. Ten thousand one hundred people. Dang man. Yeah, What's we up, just everybody? we just broke the. Hey. Uh, the 10 the record huh? yeah that's cool well they need to um they need to uh drop a like though i mean it's crazy yeah it's only four thousand them... likes they, they don't understand the like no one understands the like thing unless you're a youtuber because you know how crazy much it actually though. helps it's so stupid I, it's crazy how much it affects things and it really should not yeah it's stupid but regardless you should like the video <laughs> so just, <laughs> just do it yeah whatever um there's some other stuff i wanted to talk to you about the episode let me think i'm trying to think i'm trying to think Oh, okay, so here's another wild theory I heard, and I want to know what you think about this. Okay. So, uh, Kabayoth, or Sa Sabayoth, 
was the crazy clone of Obi-Wan from Heir to the Empire, right? Yep. So what if, because you somebody said you can see a clone or a potential clone that looks like Maul in... Oh, yeah, the... the, the, the yeah. Yeah. So what if in this timeline, Thrawn has a Sabaoth that's actually a clone of Darth Maul? That'd be cool. Bro, because it... Because it goes, because then we can do some of the stuff that we were talking about the other week, where where Maul becomes and uh, Salen and all a, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be really cool. Yeah, I'd Who's love to see dude? that. Like, but obviously he's got to die before, I guess. Oh wait, but yo, Snoke had a. Remember that Snoke had an apprentice that wasn't Kylo. Exactly. Could yeah. it be Maul? Could it be Maul. Basically, well, just it Sidious. Would it would just be Sidious training Maul's clone. Exactly. Ah, cool. a clone. It's so crazy. Yeah, it would be so nuts. And uh, I would love that because, I mean, first of all, Maul is such a cool character, super underutilized. But, like, the thing that's cool about having, like, a clone version of him is that that's technically a whole new character. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, like, it could have different things going on. It could lean this way, lean that what way. What if they clone whatever. them all? Dooku, Maul, Anakin, I mean, Luke. The clone, Why are they not cloning I Luke? I don't understand it. It's very difficult to clone... Force any, sensitive, of so course. Any one would be like a miracle, you know what yeah. I mean? So, but I mean, they could still make him grievous. Totally, totally. They could totally do something like that. Yeah. Um, oh, by the way, too, I was talking to somebody that said, so remember how we were talking about the three phases of the Dark Troopers? Yeah. Well, there was like a phase zero, and I think this was only in a video game, but it was that one I was telling you about where they had the clones, and they were, get this, this is crazy. They were clones of Boba Fett, okay? And they eventually all killed themselves because they couldn't stand being more machine than man. But they were incredible. Like, they were brutal. But then they all just, they were like, nah. I read something that the original clone template was supposed to be Darth Maul. Ooh. I just can't remember well, where I read it from. That sense, right? Yeah. Because he's such a specimen, that's why he takes him as an apprentice. So that would make perfect sense. But, like, yeah. they couldn't do the whole force thing. But where the, where the hell did I read that? Was that... I don't know. Yeah, I don't, don't, know don't quote that. me on that, anyone. Yeah. No, but that makes sense. Yeah, it would be cool. I mean... It, well, it would be kind of weird. A whole bunch of Darth Mauls. Well... It would be weird, and it's also a thing that, like, you could potentially set it up for later, too. So, like, you know, he doesn't even necessarily have to play a huge role in what's going on right now. You know, bunch of them in life. At last, we'll reveal ourselves, reveal ourselves, reveal ourselves, reveal ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, that would be incredible. I mean, can yeah. you imagine an army of malls? I don't think you'd, you're losing many battles. No. I mean, he was a brutal warrior, dude. Yeah, he was. Yeah. He was vicious. Yeah, he was vicious. definitely one of a kind. Um, yeah. Actually, you know, this makes me think now. So, oh, and you got to help me out with this because I, it's fuzzy. Um, the the there were two people. There were two species who visited Tython in Legends. The yeah. the Qua and the Cree. Something like that. Yeah, I think the Qua was the second one, but I don't know. I think the. I think the Kree was the second one. Yeah, the Qua was the second one. Anyways, the first yeah. one, they were from Dathomir. They're originally from Dathomir, but they didn't really? look like Dathomirians. Interesting. Their okay. home planet was Dath, but this is like, I mean, this is like 30,000 years. Yeah. Yeah. Before episode four. And that's not, those people leave too. Mm-hmm. They end up leaving. So the second group is the people that come with those ships, right? Yep. Yeah. With the right. with the Thoyor. Thoyor, yeah. Yeah. So here's something interesting about the Thoyor. In the Mortis arc, the thing that they fly towards that transports them to Mortis, it looks like a Thoyor. It's not exactly the same, but it's the same basic shape with the two pyramids on top of each other. I can't remember. Yeah, check it out. Oh, you know, I can send it to you right now, actually. I'll send you the picture. But, like, the thing that's... The other thing that about that that's wild to me is, like... So, I've always thought it was interesting that the Mortis gods have the father who represents balance, right? Right. 
and then they've got the son who is the dark side and the daughter that is the light well that's the same thing that happens on tython the planet itself was all about balance mm -hmm. ashla was the white moon that had all the light side and the bogan was the red moon that had all the dark side and i think it's just so cool that those planets are personified in the mortis gods and I have all sorts of crazy ideas about what that could potentially mean. Do you think um, Ahsoka is now the embodiment of the light side? Because Morai always think, follows her. Well, yeah, and there's also... Dave said something literally today about how it's possible that this episode takes place before I saw the that epilogue interview. of Rebels. Yeah, before, which, right. which would make sense, because now it, it leads into her knowing where Thrawn is, where Ezra is. Yep. And I, I guess that means we won't see Mortis. Ezra in this season, I'm guessing. That's the Mortis monolith on uh, Discord I just sent to you. Yeah, but if I open it up, then I ruin our... Um, oh, okay, right on. Yeah, look setup. at it later or whatever. But it, yeah, it's 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 just so interesting. You know what I mean? And so, um, you know, so okay. If Ahsoka knows about Tython... Like, Dude. I also think, again, she could be sending Din and Grogu there because they're actually both Force-sensitive. You know what I mean? Like, I just think it's so weird that she would send them Maybe. Yeah. to that place, you know? Now that I'm reading this, it, it holds possibly more meaning. Stronger than you think. I know, right? <laughs> He's Force-choking! He's Force-choking on there, dude! I'm yeah, maybe it you. means something, yeah. Huh. Who knows? Who knows anymore? Who knows? We'll soon find out, I guess. Huh? Yeah, what'd you guys think of it? What'd you guys think of the episode, now that we're finally talking to chat, after 47 yeah. minutes? <laughs> yeah, did they even like it, though? Um, I... Everyone seemed like they loved it. Know, In the right. comments of the breakdown, I mean, everyone just seems very happy, and, um... Yeah, uh, dude, I'm happy. I think it's great. Lord Vito says yeah, Boba is trash. Who said this? Lord Vito. He's just trying to trigger me, man. He's know? trying to trigger. He came. He came to my gaming me. stream and he's like, he sent he sent two messages and he's like, it's like all about Boba being trash. Boba did nothing. Name one thing Boba did. And I'm like, you know what, dude? <laughs> he actually didn't really do much. Oh it's true. no, dude! I'm being converted. Vito. I know. Vito. I'm yeah. coming for you, Vito. I'm coming yeah, I know. For you right now. I know. I know. Do you think Mary Jade could show up in the Mando? No, nah, because then they'd have to change. Yeah, they have to change. Um, well, they what would definitely have to change her, yeah. It, what, what chances Grogu sees the Force Ghost of Yoda and Tython? Ah. I don't know. There are what many more Force Ghosts to see, so. What if he sees Anakin's Force Ghost and the explanation for why Anakin's Force Ghost never showed up to do anything proper is because when he died, he became the father Force Ghost, and he's he, he can't leave Tython. Mm. Too wild. Yeah, but he spoke to Ray. He did speak to Ray, but so did Ahsoka, right? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Uh, I, I don't like. I don't. Like, yeah, I don't know. I just don't like theorizing and then putting the sequels in it, and I'm like, oh, but this has to make sense because of this, and it's like. Oh yeah yeah yeah. I just want to forget about it. Anakin, does that happen? Oh, right. There's a rise. Okay, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah and I mean, in the in the concept art for The Force Awakens, they had Anakin in there as the Force ghost that was going to show up as Anakin and Vader. Kind of like yeah, a, a candle, right? That. I mean, I kind of agree with them scrapping that, though. That is not... That doesn't line up with George's mythos. None of it did. I mean? Yeah. So None of it did. Like the yeah. sequel trilogy didn't line up. True. I know you like the sequels. But True. I just don't hate them as much as you. Which I don't I hate means... them. I don't hate them. I'm just insulted as a Star Wars fan, as a kid who like <laughs> literally. Fair, fair. This was everything to me, you know. Yeah. And yeah. It, and it still is. It, uh, anyway, we're not gonna get this. Uh oh. Gonna, oh no! We're it's not happening. No, 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 it's not happening. It's not happening. What did you think? <laughs> what did you think of the because of because of Obi Wan? <laughs> Definitely because of Obi Wan. No. Because of what you've done. Because of Ryan Johnson. Right. What did you think of the latest Ahsoka trial in Among Us? What? I don't know. I don't know what that is. is she in the game? 
Are you guys worried that if too many Jedi enter the Mandalorian that it will overshadow Din and will become a show more about l leasing into the sequels than anything else? No. I think this is about Star Wars. About the Star Wars. I think Mando is a way to um, funnel us into the Star Wars galaxy. Open us yeah. up into the Star Wars galaxy. I don't think it's the Star Wars galaxy closing us in into the Mando. Oh, 100%. Dude, that's the yeah. perfect way to say it. You're absolutely right. And I'll also just add as a little footnote that one way they could get around that, all the all the Jedi are outshining him, but one way they could get around that is throw a little force sensitivity. Give him a, a little bit of them M counts, you know what I mean? Yeah. No worries. Yeah. I'm on that train, bro. I don't I'm want that. It. I'm on it. I don't want that crap, dude. Well, then so, it's just yeah, like, it's it. like, it's like, it's like Oprah for Star Wars. It's like, you get force powers and you get force powers and but you get, it's like, this. no, dude. But how many force sensitives even are there though, right now? I don't know. So like I said, there's only a few Jedi left, right? So. Yeah, that's what I mean. So like, Maybe she's sending him to Titan for a certain reason. Maybe there's someone there. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I, I do get your point though because it would it would feel a little much, but at the same time it is the show's kind of done a little much all season and it's felt right it hasn't felt ridiculous so we'll Josh see, you know. I gotta pee really bad yeah can you keep everyone yeah enthralled maybe gonna, yeah I'll just blabber about force sensitive din real quick while you're gone all right all right, all right. All right. so here's the thing ladies and gentlemen and and you know what I think this would be a good time to know if you guys are yes or no. So put it into the chat. And I don't have the stream open, but I'll open it right now. Just let me know. Am I crazy? Or are you? do you guys see it? Do you see the Force Sense of Din Djarin? Or no? Yes or no? Put it into the chat. I'm going to pull up uh, the chat on that. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait, he's back, everybody. Or, oh, no, he had the headphones on. Okay, that's what it was. What the heck's going on? Um, but yeah, let us know. Let us know. I think a lot of people are, are uh, pretty positive on it. Looks like uh, people are pretty excited. That's cool. Uh, Maul coming back would be sweet, man. Um, I would... Uh, I'd be into that, dude. I, I'd be into it, and it would be interesting to see if, like, he could potentially pick up some of the old connections that he had and stuff like that. Like... Would this be? Would they play it different than Sabayoth? Because Sabayoth doesn't even realize that he's like the clone of Obi Wan, right? But if Maul knows he's a clone, or the new Maul, or whatever, and then he goes and he pretends he's just Maul again and tries to sort of keep the legacy and use the legacy, that could be really, really cool. It looks like people are pretty split uh, on Force sensitive uh, Din Djarin. So what I'm kind of worried about is, like, if Grogu is... Because, I mean, it seems like he's he's a dude of Tython. He just kind of answers to all aspects of the Force. Like, you know, he does the choke thing. He probably will shoot lightning at some point. Um, yeah. What if he kind of turns to the dark side, but he doesn't know it's the dark side? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, I've thought a lot about him going to the dark side, actually, and is totally possible i mean it would be devastating to see you know what i mean like it would be absolutely devastating to see him uh fall to the dark side it just really depends on what he was doing in that dark period you know what i mean like because he's got so much fear i mean like ahsoka could sense that fear you know a mile away and it's just like palps probably took him bro that's what I'm saying, and I'm, dude, I'm telling you, you get, Palps gets in you, I mean, even just a little bit inside your mind, I mean, look what he did to Anakin, look what he literally did to the best of the Jedi, you know? Anakin wasn't I the mean, best of the Jedi, bro. No, he wasn't, you're right, but he was... His abilities, was yeah, but his, digital. he was too arrogant, he was too focused on what he wasn't at the moment, he was too focused on what he could be if this, that, or the other. Who's holding him back? Yeah. Who's doing this and that? It's it, it was more so like... He just kind of like would blame everyone. Yeah. For his lack of being where he wants to be. And always just right. focusing on the future, as Yoda said. 
So it's so like. Let me ask you this: Do you think that the Jedi, by put, by basically making him this prophesied being, because we we don't know the full story there, but essentially he knows he's supposedly the chosen one at some point, right? So yeah. Do you think that like kind of having that knowledge or whatever sort of further drove him down a bad path? You know what I mean? It's almost like when you get too like, yeah, I think rich so. Or famous when you're a kid or whatever, you know? Yeah, I think so. He yeah probably felt like a lot of responsibility was on his shoulders he was in the spotlight um he probably felt like these guys didn't get it i mean like when you're that gifted and then all these people are telling you that you're the messiah yeah you probably start to think like i know best yeah they don't yeah you know what i mean yeah um but then also then to deny him a seat or a, the rank of master is like I know, right? You guys are literally basing your entire race on my shoulders. Right. On that me being okay. alive, me being the chosen one, me being the, the prodigal son. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, and you're going to treat me like this? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty messed up. It's pretty messed up, man, what they uh, what they did to him. They did, they did him pretty dirty there. Yeah. He was uh, almost going to fight Mace Windu when uh, he, he didn't give him the rank of master. Did you know this? Yeah, he probably wanted to, like, real bad. Yeah, and in the book, he was, like, he was, like, just about to, and he's, like, Vapor, this, you, and then he gets interrupted. Because <laughs> nice. Obi-Wan knew what he was doing. Sure. Yeah, in yeah, his yeah, head. Yeah. But as he's standing there, he's just, like, fuming in his head, and he's, like, going over different yeah. maneuvers. It's yeah, cool. it's pretty wild, man. Pretty, pretty wild. Would have been cool to see. Um, yeah, it would be really, really cool to see. Uh, so are you ner let me let me ask you this so there's been a lot of speculation about an another ahsoka show it seems pretty obvious that they're gonna do it she looked great fans loved her they're gonna spin that out do you think that's gonna end up being the search for ezra i mean she's asking where thrawn yeah, is. yeah so feels like the perfect setup right i think this could then lead into the um the rumored rebel sequel that we might get yeah that yeah. someone mentioned, yeah, and, and then, I, I don't even know if it's credible or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'm hearing some stuff, and I'm not 100% on this, but I'm hearing that it's possible that the animated Rebel sequel show, which definitely had concept art and was definitely a real project at one point, um, may have been scrapped and instead folded into the Filoniverse. So the live action show with Ahsoka and Sabine is likely going to replace what the animated show would have been. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Uh, I like animated, but I like live action more, I think. Yeah. It's I'm just more... It, but... I don't know, bro. Look, I love animated. Like, Toy Story was literally my, my favorite movie when I was a kid. And it means so much to me to this day. But there's just something about... Li and, then, and then also Dragon Ball Z. I, like, I swore by it. I worshipped it as a kid. Yeah, man, me too. Um, there's just something about live action that's just... I don't know. Yeah, I'm not Real. mad at all. I know some fans are like... Dude, some fans are like super hardcore uh, animated. And they're yeah. like, I need this to be an animation. And they're going to feel wronged if it doesn't happen in animation. Um and uh you know we're gonna get bad batch and stuff like that but I, I i personally think it's in the service of star wars if they just do it in live action it's yeah, gonna reach absolutely. a wider audience you know so yeah 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 probably will yeah i didn't think of that yeah yeah i'm sure it would if i've learned anything on the internet is that there's always going to be a group of people no matter what you do that will feel wronged or feel dissatisfied or or whatever but yeah. at the end of the day, you have to do what you feel is right, and there's going to be millions and millions who love it. So right. I, 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 I think they're going to make the right decision either way. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. It's just going to be, you know, the other part of it, though, is like, you know, as like a sort of a canon junkie, it's like, how does Thrawn tie into this where he's going to be such a big part of it, presumably, but yet he's either handled or leaves or is eliminated as a threat by the time the sequels roll around around right uh because there's no mention of him or the seventh fleet you know well what if what happens to him is like what happens to zod 
Yeah, totally. Cause he's just yeah, trapped like, in some yeah, or he even dimension. Just goes back out to his people. Um, there's still plenty of rumor. I mean, the other thing that's interesting about Tython is the Rakata, right? Yeah. So the Rakata are like this squid looking alien species that were very strong with the dark side of the force and they predate their force sensitivity predates Tython. They were mm-hmm. force sensitive long before that. So yeah. they actually invade Tython at one point. And I think it was, wasn't it a character named Zesh or something like that? Mm-hmm. I just remember he looks a little like, uh, like XR Kuhn or it does. Yeah. Yeah. And then he comes down with a lightsaber and it was like the first lightsaber they've ever seen. Yeah. Yeah. And they were like, what is yeah, that? Yeah. What do they and call the, it? A, 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 a fire sword or something? Something like that. Yeah. Dude, that stuff's so great. And you know what else I want to see, bro? Rancor dragon. <laughs> yeah, dude. Does anybody remember the yes. fucking Rancor yes. dragon? Oh, what was his name? Oh. Uh, like, like, oh, he was something. I feel like it was something generic. It was like, I forgot what He's the name. Like right? Yeah, yeah. It was um, it was that girl? I'm trying to remember her name. Sophie? No, it wasn't Sophie. Yeah, it was she's Chloe. Like in, like, the first issue. She's like, yeah. Something Shay. I think Chloe Shea, something like that. So, I don't Sophie remember Shea, the exact I name. I loved those books, bro. I can't believe we're here as fans. Well, okay. Here's the thing. Do you think they're gonna rewrite it all? Okay. So that would suck. <laughs> why wouldn't you do Force Wars on Typhon? Like, if you're gonna go to Typhon, you're gonna introduce Typhon, and you've already said that you want to do like you know. Um, well, it's like saying, why didn't they just do what they did with Legends in the sequels? Kyle Katarn totally. and Luke Skywalker and all. It's like, well, they just rewrote it. Yeah, but technically what they did was just skipped over that 30-year period and did other stuff in a time period that's technically after that period in Legends anyways. Yeah, you're right. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. So okay. it's like, yeah. it's kind of like now they can do it. Yeah. Or a version of it, right? I didn't, Yeah. I guess it just bugs me knowing where it where it ended up. Cause, well, because Heir to the Empire takes place, I think like three to five years. Pretty after. much right after. Yeah, it's like right at this time. Yeah, it's like not far off. Like, yeah. Yeah. So. Hmm. I mean, they could make the sequels like a super. They could make it look it's like one a. One bad year, dude. They could it's make it. They could make it look like a watered down version of what is about to come, with all of this. Right in between period stuff they're like oh palpatine tried it again but he's like this ridiculously terrible like what what is he like yeah like well because okay so yeah so the republic is demilit they're de-escalating their military at the time of episode seven but they still have a crazy big military which mm-hmm. is why they take out hosnir and prime mm-hmm. okay so they they take this out this is something that's really interesting if so the republic gets taken out the sith fleet an incredible source of power is presumably gets mostly destroyed we can imagine let's say a 70 percent destroyed in that final battle in legends the vong don't come into the galaxy until after a lot of conflict had happened in the known galaxy because things were weakened the defenses were weakened yeah if there's no republic army there's no imperial fleet and everything's weakened what if that's what i would do is like i would set up thrawn and a lot of this crazy stuff during this time period but essentially the republic either keeps him at bay forces him into the unknown regions or something and then post rise the vong invasion begins and now nobody's like nobody's no one's got, safe yeah nobody's got nothing man like yeah. everybody's screwed and all of them are going to have to try to work together. Like, yeah, it's that game would over. Be yeah. Wild, you know? Yeah. So, like, any version of that or anything like that, I think this is just really what's cool about it is we were so hung up, right? Because the problem, I think one of the main things with the sequels is, like, there's nowhere to go if you don't like it. There was nowhere to go. Like, that was Star Wars. That's the end. So it's not like, <laughs> it's yeah. like... So it's not like you had the option to be like, oh, but there's this. We need that option. Like, yeah. I think you need to give fans a lot of other stuff to be able to dive into. Some leg room, period. yeah. Let me stretch yeah. a little bit, you know? Right. 
Right. Um, yeah, and I don't, I don't want to say this and be negative, but you know what? It is what it is, and I'm going to be real. But uh, when you do that to Luke, that's forever going to be where he ends up. And it's just, yeah, not right. Yeah, it's it would be stupid. very tough to be able to wash that taste out of people's mouths. You know what I mean? So I don't think that they can necessarily do that. You know? Um, there is but, nothing that will ever be done that will wash that out. Ever. Right, right. For me. But for me. they could at least make it so that you were like, yeah, but right before he became Jake Skywalker, he did a bunch of dope stuff, and here it is on Disney+. Plus. Yeah, that's you know the real I mean? Luke, yeah. Right, right. Yeah. And again, like I said, if they if they, you know, give us some reason as to why he was hiding instead of just like, oh, I got afraid of killing my nephew. It's, it scared me. Uh, as well, right? Yeah, but like, dude, if you have him being like, you know what? I went away because the Empire was going to get my blood. And if they got any more of my blood, let's say they already got some of it. If they get any more of it, then they can create, you know, all the clone force sensitives that they want. So I'm just going to cut myself off from the force, hide away, and yeah. that's that. Then I could be like, <sighs> yeah, maybe. Okay. What if they set it up like on Typhon, he realizes that the, that the, like that's the beginning of the Jedi should end is on Typhon. And he's like, oh, wow, <sighs> this just causes this and we need to be in balance and there really shouldn't be just light side users and there really shouldn't be just dark side users. And it plants a seed in his mind at that point and like sort of, they could possibly even tie it to Ben where he recognizes that, you know, for as much as he wants to bring Ben into balance, he's just, he's being pushed and pulled. Um, and he sort of like has that sort of questioning that then becomes more important later. I can't make not. sense of that crap. I'm sorry. Yeah. I can't. What's it, so I can't. Why, why? What part of it's like tough or whatever? Just the whole thing of like, it's time for the Jedi to end. It's like... Yeah. Dude, you just cut yourself off from the Force. You this is like literally cut off any testosterone, any hormones that are like flowing through your body naturally. <laughs> and you're just like this depressed person that's not the same person. Like... Just imagine the Luke that was looking out to his father and Yoda and Obi-Wan at the end of Return of the Jedi, like this pretty much master at that point. He, you know, he did what yeah. he had to do and sacrificed Token himself and his he's father. Like, yeah, and he's just like leaning on the tree and he's like, and then he walks away with his sister and they're all celebrating. And then it's just like, I've seen this raw power once before. It didn't scare me enough then. It does now. And it's like, what? No. Yeah. Yeah. This isn't Luke. Yeah. What happened, you know, he's dude? Certainly broken. Yeah, no, he's certainly broken at that point. And again, it would be very tough to, to fix it. I'm just trying to play the devil's advocate. I think there's ways. No, you're not. You like the sequels. Be real. It's fine. It's okay. I'll tell you what. I'll it's be okay. completely honest with you. I don't mind Luke in The Last Jedi as much as a lot of people do. I don't I mind know. him yeah. in the film. Uh, but, I mean, I feel like the thing about that movie for me is like it's not so much about story-wise what's happening to luke it's about all the little ridiculous things that ryan puts in there like the casino is just like what is that like <laughs> and, and again the scene where he's fighting ray and he doesn't just whoop her like that bothers me like she should have been straight whooped son like yeah you know what i mean like that's luke skywalker and so, then all of a sudden he turns on the force to like balance right. himself or something and, well technically he had opened up the night before right because he like oh yeah yeah, yeah right yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. but okay. um yeah, man, there's a lot of, like, little things that I don't like in there, but the overall theme of him, like, you know, having that bad moment and being sort of cowardly, I don't necessarily hate it as much because he does end up coming back to the light. No, no. Um, but I think no, he, this, he still does a, the most cowardly a... thing in the world, bro. He still he, oh, he just 100%. hides away and, like, I'm going to force yeah. project. It's like, no, dude, I'm going to saddle up. I'm going to raise my X-Wing. I'm going to yeah. fly over there and... We're going to show up. We're like, yo, what up, Kylo? What up? <laughs> what up, bro? Like, yeah. I, look, I feel you. I don't... I think there's a way they can make it a little bit better if they give us a ton of cool stuff beforehand. 
um, and they make it a little bit more organic because you can make similar arguments about Anakin's turn in Revenge of the Sith. It does feel pretty abrupt and uh, without some of the context no. from... And I'm going well, to explain to you how it's pretty abrupt. I'll, I, a lot of people think it's abrupt. I'm going to explain to you. It's right. But, but your explanation, I'm going to venture to say, has to do with context, right? You're going to talk about, you're going to fill in the context. We had, it, right? we had t literally three movies. And then yeah. at the end of Re Revenge of the Sith, he turns. And people are like, it was so sudden. <laughs> <laughs> but what? It's, but it's sudden that he goes from, we need to arrest this guy to, I'll do anything you say. It does feel a little sudden. Because at that moment, he is, f and you can see it on his face, the way he was acting, he was told to act, it was like he was just saying this so that he could save Padme. He didn't give a crap about yeah. the Emperor. He didn't give a crap about I mean, anybody. Yeah. And in that moment, it was such a do-or-die moment. Just Mace yeah. didn't make it easy on him. He's like, I'm going to kill this dude, and if it, in this one second where I slash down, instead of just prodding forward, if I slash down, yeah. all hope for saving Padme is lost. And that's what... what Sidious did to his head. Sure. Yeah. Nah, but you don't. You content. don't buy it. You don't buy it. No, I do buy it. What I'm, I actually bought it the first time. But what I'm saying is, it doesn't work for everybody. And I think what fixes it is context. You know, and for you, like you have that context because I think a little bit maybe because of Clone Wars, probably more so just you just get what George was doing with those characters, right? Where I think some people, because it's so operatic, like the prequels are really interesting and they're very different than the OG trilogy. And a lot of fans just couldn't get it. Like they just didn't, they just, they didn't buy it like that, you know? But I think that through context and through sort of more time and understanding about it, people have come to accept it. I think Revenge of the Sith is legit considered one of the best Star Wars movies. And I think people have really come around to that idea, but it wasn't initially like that, man. Yeah, for a lot of people, but I mean, look, the thing with fans not understanding how that was such an abrupt turn is yeah. because they failed to understand the rest of the movies, the first, second, right. and most of the third, up until he turns. Yeah. It's like yeah. there are so many little moments that are showing us his baby steps towards the dark side. Mm -hmm. And then eventually, you know, in episode two, it it really showed a lot of those moments. I mean, it... it it surprises me how fans just can't even notice that and see that. I mean, the whole thing with his mother, like, yeah. even just leading up to that, all of these things are eating away at him. Like, he, he from the beginning of episode two, right. your thoughts dwell on your mother. It's like, yeah, dude, I've been yeah. just having nightmares about her. Be like, oh, your thoughts betray you, Anakin. It's like, Psh, whatever. She's dying. Yeah. Whatever, dude, let her die. It's yeah, like, don't save slaves, yeah. okay, master. And then the whole thing, the, the, the pent up tension with Padme. Okay, and then he goes off and no one really trusts him. They're just like, yeah, there's this kid. You're the chosen one, but you know what? At the same time, you're just a little boy, Psh, whatever. Yeah. And then finally he goes off to Tatooine to, to, to save his mom after having this like recurring dream, which is just constantly playing with his head. Goes there, your mother's dead, son. And right before that finds out, oh, I, I sold her to a, to a moisture farmer. Ah. Yeah, and then he yeah. goes off there, your mother's dead. And he's like, okay, well... Where are you going, son? To find my mother. And he goes yeah. off, speeds off. She's like uh, destroyed and beaten up and battered and dying. Dies in his arms in her last breath. The guy goes insane, okay? And in the book, he like just yeah. uses all sides of the force, like throws boulders at the Tuscans, like crushes nice. the little children with them. Like just goes absolutely insane. Yeah, he goes nuts. Uses force speed. He's just using all parts of the dark side. And then he finally goes back. And then that is really like the first little possible glimmer. And then his breakdown to Padme, where he's like, Obi-Wan's holding me back. The Jedi are holding me back. All of this is just festering and marinating and building up. Yeah. Then he goes to fight Dooku and then gets beaten up. And he's like, blames the Jedi for it. Right. All of this stuff is just adding up. And it's like, finally, when he fights Dooku and he uses the dark side, then he actually beats him. He's like, well, you know what? I should have just done this in the first place. All you Jedi are just telling me not to do yeah. this. And dude, look, I get you, but everything you just explained was context. Because if, because you're, you're talking about is like all the stuff that makes it make sense, right? Yeah. And throughout the film, it's there. Yeah. But that's the thing with the sequels. There's no context. We just wake, we just get that Luke. We just get, get off my So you're saying Luke, if, if we just... get context, then it's going to make sense? It could. I'm not saying it's likely, 
but if we had context and we had more moments like uh, for instance the tython thing if he if it's even like if he meets the bendu or something and it's just even dropped a little bit in his head that he's like man yoda and the jedi did really screw up didn't they maybe this maybe i can do better you know what i mean or something but there's that seed of doubt where he slowly starts to question whether anybody could create a good jedi order maybe the jedi order will always inevitably lead to a sith order and vice versa you know what i mean and so i'm not saying that it, they'll do it but i'm just saying that like it is possible especially if they did a young ben solo and luke s series yeah you could really get the the context of that and again i think the it all rests on ben because luke put so much into that kid and i think what luke was he his whole belief like what he had done for vader right he had turned his father around and he was like this was incredible i did this thing this is amazing i must recreate that for my nephew i must i must save him from the dark but he couldn't you know what i mean like he couldn't repeat the miracle and it broke him because he didn't it's like identity crisis it's like he doesn't even feel like he necessarily deserves that anymore you know and you see that in the movie he's like the, the legend of luke skywalker and stuff he's like mocking his own stuff um and i think there's a way to get there that's a little bit more organic and and again you know maybe, hmm. maybe it won't take everybody yeah uh, okay i can appreciate that but also it's like that same dude who had the hope for his dad who killed kids who did all these horrible right. things for well like 30 years yeah uh 20 something years it's like yeah yeah 30 years he still had faith but then his nephew who's oh no snoke's been talking to him ah yeah. i'll just kill him oh well it's too yeah, late. That is a huge problem, right? I mean, that's yeah. obviously like a huge problem. Um, you know, I think the possibility of that being Palpatine, right? And like Palpatine pushed him just to that edge. Because if you think about it, I think the thing that we miss with that scene, and I know it's sequels and sequels bad, but the thing that we miss about that scene is that it's so similar to when Luke is this close to killing Vader, right? Mm -hmm. In the throne room, it's the same thing. He's like, got the saber out. He's looking at himself. He's looking at his hand and he's like, I cannot do this. Right. And it's literally the same thing that happens in the hut with Ben, where he confronts that side of himself and he sees the possibility of him striking through and killing his nephew. And then he pulls himself back just like he did in the throne room. But it's yeah. too late because Ben saw him. You know what I mean? And Ben 100%. was already a broken boy. You know but, what I mean? He's a broken boy. Luke was the last person that he... Luke was, like, in some ways, I think, Ben's last hope. You know what I mean? And when he saw his last hope potentially wanted to strike him down... Yeah. I mean, it just it just broke him yeah. in a way that, like, is kind of sad. You know? I can I can see Ben's view, but I can't see Luke's. So Luke, sure. when he was fighting Vader, I mean, his whole training had been pretty much geared up to kill the Empire, end the Empire, yeah. and that was to kill Vader. And it was just, you know, like a year before that he found out that his dad was Darth Vader. So at this point, his all his friends are held hostage. They're about to be destroyed. Yep. They're about to be killed. Luke doesn't really know what to do. He's like, well, Dad, you know what? You you, you made your choice. And in that moment, he was still hiding away from him. He still didn't want to fight him because he's like, I can't kill my father. But then once Vader, you know, did his own manipulation thing because he knows his son, he's like, you have a sister, a twin. And then he's like, no. And that's all it took. And then once he tapped into the dark side, yeah, he got triggered. He tapped in the dark side and he started going at his dad. And even in that moment, with that trigger yeah in that extremely heightened state of his friends dying the emperor is right there he's cornered it's two against one and he's not ready to really to fight vader at this point and then he gets triggered that oh no he found out about my sister now so really 
if I don't kill him, then he's going to kill me, and then Leia will be turned or killed. So really, it was like a, I have no other option. Right? Yeah, so... Agreed. And even in that moment, he stopped. But with Ben, yeah. what? He's just like... Uh, I'm gonna get some, uh, gonna get some green titty milk, and uh, you know what? <laughs> Ben's yeah, been having these weird visions. It's, yeah, I'm just gonna go kill it's him. Not, it's like it's not executed well, and I actually don't even like how they do it narratively. Like yeah. Ryan does the whole like miss. It's it's he does that whole. I think <laughs> yeah. you see the event like three different ways. Or yeah, whatever, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like, I don't like any of that. Sorry, I didn't mean to swear. Ray, yeah, Ray, like Kylo, and Luke. Luke's point of view. It's like what? No, I don't need. Come on, what, is, what is this? That. He, she, uh, he said, and, she and said? I agree. Yeah, and I agree with you. It's like, no, it's not executed well. But the concept itself isn't so far removed from other things in the mythos that I'm like, okay, this is completely foreign to me. Um, but I do need, and I think we deserve more of an explanation. You know what I mean? Like, I just don't I agree. think that that's good. Yeah. Like, yeah. I just don't think that's good enough. Like, it's not good enough that he was a coward. He obviously wasn't a coward. You know what I mean? So I, just, I would want, and I would not mind a little bit more. Uh, and as someone who, like, you know, as you say, like, doesn't hate the sequels. Like, I like, you know, they're serviceable movies to me. Um, ben and that, that relationship with Luke was always so interesting to me. And I would love to uh, see more of it, you know? I agree, man. I think Luke and Ben's relationship is something that's really cool. And it should be extrapolated upon yeah. uh dived yeah. into deeper and i think it's a really cool relationship that it's like a um and can an obi one you know yep. but the the years we didn't see right exactly and like clone wars that right like clone wars gave us so much more of anakin and obi one it helps so much inform that third movie and, and just in general the whole relationship you know yeah uh and it didn't stop. Like that's what's so funny. Even points in seven, there were points in seven, right? Where you, one of, remember when we found out Obi, for sure knew about Padme. Yeah, in the Clone Wars. One of the early episodes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, yeah. I hope you said hello to yeah, Padme. Yeah, 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 me. yeah. Bro, hit me in the feels, dog. Yeah. You know, and like if we get some stuff like that with Ben and Luke, yeah. I think it'll really help to elevate. You know. Yeah. Some things in our mind. Yeah. <laughs> ben. Say hi to grandma yeah. for me. <laughs> right? Yeah. What'd you say, you little... Dude, I'd love it if they made him, like, a little punk, bro. Yeah, like a little Biff like, from Back to the Future. Yeah, like, just... And, like, a handful. But, like, Luke thinks he's got it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, Luke's like... Well, that like, show could it. be the Mandalorian times 100, you know? It would basically be... Mando would be Luke, and Ben would right. be Grogu. Dude. How cool like, would that be? But they're both force so users. Cool. And they just go go throughout the galaxy and they get in trouble and like Ben uses his force powers and like it would be God of War. It yeah, would man. be God of War 4. It'd be epic, dude. But Star It'd Wars. And that's the thing is like I think that this one of the problems with the sequels and it was really like the rhetoric of the company, you know, talking to the fans is that they put a damper on that kind of stuff. And that's such a mistake. And, and it's so clear that John and Dave are like, no, 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 no. We want that back. Mm -hmm. Like, we want them speculating. We want them making theories. We want them anticipating the next episode. We want them wondering about how EU is coming into canon. And actually, this actually brings me to a point that I, I, I've always wanted to make, but I keep forgetting to bring up on the show. And, uh, you know, earlier in the year, because I did a video five months ago. I found it today. It was weird. I did a video five months ago when I first found out about uh, live action Grand Admiral Thrawn, mm -hmm. right? And I was like, dude, that was crazy. It was just a rumor at that point, right? But I was like, this is crazy. And like, it could mean this, that, and second and the third. When I was talking about the Star Wars MCU back then, there were all these people that were like, I don't want Star Wars to get Marvelized. I don't want it to be like Marvel. And the thing I kept trying to explain... I do. But I think that we see now is that it's not about making this into comic book stuff one of the most beautiful things about the mcu is that as a hardcore comic book fan you have all this knowledge of what things were like in the comics which is very similar to what we have with legends mm -hmm. now right mm -hmm. and part of the fun is how are they going to adapt the thing i'm familiar with from the comics into the live action version yeah and as a big comic book fan you feel rewarded for your fandom 
but you're also interested, confused, uh, surprised at the changes they make to the material. And so we're literally in this place now where they're going to do the same thing with the EU and Star Wars. And bro, that aspect of the MCU is a beautiful thing. That is something we should be very welcomed or welcoming of. Yeah. Whatever the proper thing is. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think, it, you know, turning it into the, the Star Wars CU, SWCU, yeah. it's a really great idea. I think it would make it so much more intertwined um, and connected and just cool. And, and it yeah. would make sense, you know? And you'd have more uh, more time to explain different stories instead of just, you know, a trilogy of a couple hours of, you know, each episode. So I'm loving the length. Like, it's, it's just so crazy that we get to hang out with these characters for this amount of time, dude. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. Mind you, some of it is a little bit extra, you know, just to fill in the episode, but... Mm -hmm. But still, it that you're still seeing what this character is going through, and you know, like some yeah. mundane. You're still hanging out in regular the world. thing. You're still mm -hmm. learning. You know, we learn stuff in episode two. You know, so it's yeah. like, yeah, it's like a relationship. Yeah. Not yeah. all of it's going to be you know, extremely exciting stuff. A lot of it's just like regular getting to know this person kind of thing. So correct. I feel it. Cool, right? I dig it. Yeah, man. Yeah. I yeah. think it's going to be good. I'm so excited to see where we go from this. I hope one day to meet Favreau and Filoni. It would be fantastic. It'd man. be a dream, just man. To shake their just, hand, man. And just I don't even like, have to. Hey. I don't even have to. I just, just like in passing, be like, "Hi," <laughs> you know. I want to have a beer. I want to have a beer with those guys, man. I would just. I would love to just geek out. Yeah. Just geek out with them, just like we do every Monday. You know what I mean? Like I'm sure they do a similar thing, man. They, these guys are sweaty. We are plebs in their world. True. We are. We are just peasants. <laughs> we are sodden peasants. Yes. yes yeah. Quite, well. Quite. Yeah. Maybe hey. Someday. Yeah. Appreciate from afar. You know. Um. They're yeah, doing amazing yeah. work, and I hope they just keep killing it. So, we have cool stuff to watch and talk about and have fun with. Yeah, and all everyone else, you know, yeah. So, um, still ninety three hundred people. That's Dang. for an hour and a half. That's really cool, guys. Yeah, yeah. We love that you love this show, and we love this show. And you know, um, when Mark went away to do all his work stuff, which me and Mark still talk to this day, uh, every week, we still game together. Um, nice. It put me and Josh in touch, and. Here we are. It's cool. Yeah, man. So, big it's shout so out to Mark. I was, uh, you know, I was surprised and shout out to Mark because without Mark, I wouldn't have linked up with Theory at all. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's crazy how it all happened. And, like, right as Mando was happening, too, you know, and, like, hey, mm. you know, like, we just, we had good chemistry and, and everybody seemed to like it. And so it's, it's, hey, it's been a blast. I think it's ridiculous that there's, like, 9,000 watching. That's, like, yeah, that's cool. That's, like, there was more than that. JD numbers, you know what I mean? Like that's Who? like some, like he's like a a signed gaming streamer. He does like 10, 15, 20k, and that's like huge. For, and this dude's like signed with YouTube. You know what I mean? Oh, nice. So like, nice. That's that's big numbers, ladies and gentlemen. That's big numbers, and I hmm. appreciate it. Thank you guys very much. Yeah, it's it's awesome. It's really nice to see. So, um, onwards and upwards, I say. Yeah. I think twenty twenty one will be an awesome year and we'll just keep growing and um hopefully keep getting really good star wars stuff because yeah well they're not slowing down so there'll be plenty to be talking about weekly i hope so sure. man yeah dude what if we one day got like john favreau and nah that's, that's stupid I wouldn't oh happen. dude what bro i'm telling you just let's just if we just keep at this pace we could we could get him at celebration in 2022 man me, you, John, Dave. Like, just round table. Like, come on, bro. People would go nuts. That'd be cool. You and I would just be, like, just crying the whole time. <laughs> That's the only problem. Is it yeah, I don't know like, if I'd be able to formulate words. I'd just be like, I know, uh... Right? Just be, like, looking at him in the eyes and be like, uh, yeah, I, um... Right. That would be it. Yeah. Yeah. 
Nah, yeah. I'm pretty sure once he like starts talking about something, I'll just like my geek brain will kick in and I'll be like, Yeah, of course. That's what yeah. it would be like. It would totally be like that, where it'd be like, Oh well, you know, like I kinda like Just be able to learn from him, you know? Yeah. Well, he's a brilliant guy, dude. Like he's a brilliant guy. Um and man, watching the gallery was really eye opening just to see because like, you know, you yeah. know he does all this stuff with Disney, but he's not just collecting a paycheck, like he's in there innovating. Yeah. Like he's innovating with the technology. Yeah, he's to changing make the game better. And yeah, yeah, he's he's wicked smart, man. And uh, yeah, it would be great to ah uh, uh, man, it would be an honor. It would be an honor. It's an honor to even be able to like talk to him or talk about him rather. You know what I mean? And just talk about his work. It's it's pretty cool. <laughs> talk to him. He's gonna be like what? <laughs> All right. It's an honor to be like, what up, Johnny? Yeah. Something yeah, you're not telling me. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um. Do you think chapter 13 is happening before or after the Rebels finale? Right, so we covered that. So Filoni has said in an interview that possibly it's taking place, the Mandalorian is taking place before the Rebels time jump, and he's left it kind of ambiguous. So he said possibly. Yeah. So it's up for grabs, which confirms that it's not for sure afterwards. But Correct, also yeah. it could be. I don't know. I like the mystery, and the fact is, the the timing on that epilogue in general is a little shaky. So, yeah, it's, we don't know. Yeah, Grogu flashback, Anakin wrecking the Jedi, and uh, I don't think so. I mean, like that, <laughs> Dane, that Dane Cook joke where he gets the dude the candy, and the dude's like blasting everybody at work, and then he comes to him and he's like, "Thanks for the candy," and then he just leaves him alone. I don't know. Yeah, like he would basically, like Anakin would basically just have to have a relationship with Grogu and yeah. like him a lot and just be like, get out of here, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, love your content, keep up the good work. What do you think of his name, Grogu? I think it's lame. I think it's cute. What? Yeah, I like it. Grogu, it's yeah, not like something generic like John. Even like, Or even something like Dova or something, you know, like. No, Grogu fits, dude. Grogu's cool. Yeah, Grogu. Brother? Brother? Yeah. When I go to church, my pastor comes up to me and talks to me about the latest Mandalorian episode. He asked why her head tails are shorter. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I, I don't know. I think it's because live action probably makes yeah. it easier if they're shorter. Yeah, and I think that they might even adjust it over time, and especially if the if the Rebels epilogue takes place later, and then even maybe potentially later is the Solo series, her Leku could be longer. Um, but I think they mostly did it because the combat, it was so important for her be, to be able to fight well. So, hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, I make this prediction, no Skywalkers in the Mandalorian, Windu, Jocasta, Cal Kestis, but no Skywalker. Well, I hope there's Skywalker. Cal Kestis would be sweet. Ezra would yeah. be cool, but honestly, I, I don't care about any of them. I just want to see Luke. I really don't yeah. care. Like, I it would be great. Un yeah, it just feels, but it would feel weird at this point. Not at the sacrifice of Luke, man. Yeah. I'd, like, if Luke was really crazy and like Luke in the sequels, I'd be like, yeah, okay, whatever, we, we'll catch up with Luke later, but I'm still hungry for, I'm still hungry to see the yeah. Luke that, you know, um... Agreed. Agreed. And I think that's a really good point, is like, had they not screwed Luke up, like, let's just be real, they screwed him up, had they not done that, then maybe, yeah, you don't want to run the risk of putting Luke in, but at this point, like, what is stopping them? Yeah. They have nothing to lose with that character. No. It can only go up. Oh, and big, big shout out to Dave Prowse, of course. Uh, yeah, made I mean, a whole bunch of posts, power. and uh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it's um, if you don't know the 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 actual um, physical actor for Darth Vader in the originals passed away at eighty five uh, yesterday. So yeah, yeah. Wow. He he was a he was a really cool guy. Um, I never got to meet him, but the stories I heard of him. You know, yeah, like like him him, him yeah. lifting up uh, Ian McDermott at the end. Yeah. You know, like yeah. George was like, so in the end when when uh, Palpatine was going to get yeeted off um, into the reactor, 
uh, they were trying to get cranes to lift um, Ian McDermott up, or I guess maybe a stunt double. And was it him? I don't know if it was him. Anyways, uh, Dave Prowse was like, after all, they're like trying to figure this out forever, he's like, you know what, I can just lift him. Because he was a bodybuilder, so he was, he was a weightlifter. Yeah, yeah. He was jacked. Yeah. yeah, so he just, he's like, just lifts him up over his head and... That is so cool, dude. That yeah. is cool. Yeah. Wow. That's sweet. Because of last week, I bought a $5 membership. Thank you for everything, Theory. Oh, thanks, Kaden. YouTube thanks you, too, for 30% of that. Heck yeah, they do. I must... Actually, they don't thank you. They just take it. <laughs> they don't thank me either. I, well, I guess they thank me by giving me a career. Uh, I yeah. n must know your guys' thoughts on this. Ahsoka asked the magistrate where her master was before saying, Thrawn, what if the Force-sensitive blood is for Thrawn? Nah. Nah. Thrawn is definitely a character that does not need any force sensitivity. Mm -hmm. If you give that man any force sensitivity, you just broke Star Wars. Yeah. Like, because then there's like nothing that would stop him, essentially. So, no, Thrawn definitely cannot have the force. Well, I think Starkiller would still kick his ass. Yeah, in a one-on-one, -on -one, but Thrawn would never let that happen. Like, with Thrawn's tactical mind and the knowledge of the Force, like, imagine if Thrawn was able to have any kind of insight into the future at all. <laughs> he already does, because he's just so wicked so smart. So smart, yeah. So he, if he was able to have any little sense of, like, probably going to come this way. Yeah. I feel it. Yeah. Then it's like, then he knows how to pick you apart so like i think he would just have just it's a lot like when batman fights superman in re, uh dark knight returns it's like bruce knows everything clark's gonna do how he's gonna respond he knows how to beat him in the cartoon he's not strong enough to beat him but he knows how to beat him the cartoon well there's an animated movie which is dope but i was actually talking about the frank miller comic the actual book but oh okay yeah didn't read it it's good. Yeah, that seems like something I should have read. It's all, it's I feel really like I would cool, love it. Yeah. Um, thank you, Villa. George, thank you, and Emily. Uh, Rosario's great portrayal of Ahsoka displayed deep respect for the character and lots of dedication. She even did the Ahsoka side smirk watching the Razor Crest take off. I loved her performance. I don't, I've yeah. not seen anyone say anything bad, but I'm sure there are people. Yeah, I thought it was great. She, I, I, I'll tell you, maybe it's not for you. Maybe you don't like it, and that's fair. But I don't think you can deny that there was a lot of effort put into that. Yeah. A lot of effort. So. Hmm. And apparently George Lucas was on set. Yep. Rosario Dawson said. Yep. That he was on set during that episode. During that episode, yeah. I actually have a feeling that episode was filmed a long time ago. Like a long, long time ago. Really? Yep. I don't know for sure, but I, I just have so. a feeling. Yeah, I have I a just, feeling. Yeah. Okay, well, maybe. I have a feeling it could have been one of the first episodes they shot. If not, parts of it, I think parts of it could have been shot last season. <sighs> they probably screen tested her, and they were doing a lot of tests probably last season. Yeah, yeah maybe. Uh, Prout says Ahsoka was amazing. I agree. Did the Vader saber come with exposed wires on it? No. Oh, do you mean these? Mm, yeah, but they're yeah, not. I guess they kind of do. But they're like fake, you know, not real wires, yeah, obviously. They look good, though. Yeah, they're cool. I don't like this. I don't know why the hell that's there, but that's stupid. Yeah, it's a little weird. Like, what does it say? Mike, uh, yeah, some company. I don't even, I don't need to see that, man. Don't show yeah. me that. File that off. Yeah. Probably I could probably just unscrew it. No, ah, it's like right. bolted on there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah not a fan of that. You but file it off or like fill it with epoxy and then paint over it or something. <laughs> yeah, just draw over it. <laughs> uh, it's like if you want to do that, like put it on the bottom or something, not on the freaking right. like what are you right, come on, yeah. bro? That's like it just makes me dislike it. Stupid stickers on the front of their action figures, and you're just like, bro, like. Yeah, it's like, okay, we we get it. You made this, but. I want to look at it. I want to look at it and have it look all. But seeing that, it just gonna make me annoyed. Like I'm, you know, right. and then I'll associate this 
emotion of annoyedness with your company. With your brand. Yeah, yeah, yep. it's just it's not good. Anyways, um, but they did they did a great job. <laughs> Um, yeah, which is weird because it's, it's Corbin who sold it, but I don't know what this. Maybe the people who made the hilt, perhaps. I don't know. Because yeah, I know Corbin just does the electronics. Oh, okay. I yeah, thought yeah, it was dumb. Ahsoka almost lost to Rando Lady. How can she, dude? That was Bruce Lee's goddaughter. Yeah, and I have weird theories about that lady too, dude. And yeah. Ahsoka literally says in the episode, "Don't underestimate her." Yeah. And did you notice? And I'm sure some people in chat noticed this. But the architecture on the building, on that set piece that has the walkway with the the water on both sides, which I thought was absolutely stunning. Yeah. Um. But that building, if you look up what a Jedi temple looks like on Tython, it is the exact same architecture, the exact same. And I, I don't know. Wouldn't it be crazy if that lady was like connected to the Jedi or something? That'd be cool. I don't know. It'd be interesting. Huh? Um. What do you think of Ahsoka's, uh, shoes? Those ninja shoes. It's like ninja assassin shoes, the ninja turtle honest, shoes. I didn't really, I didn't really make, I didn't really notice too much, but uh, unless I yeah. saw it wrong, yeah, she has the the like the 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 toe shoes, like where Makes like, sense, yeah. yeah, it's like that split in the middle. I don't know what it's called, but it's like what yeah the like Japanese, the would, yeah, yeah, the ninjas and the, the sam yeah. Makes sense. Yeah, that's cool. Mm -hmm. That's cool. I didn't notice that. I um, thought it was wicked. I'll have to check again. Yeah. Yeah. I have a bad feeling Sabine is dead. If she is, do you think... No, I don't think she's dead at all. Do you think an agent of Thrawn or Gideon done it? Also, would Thrawn outrank Gideon or vice versa? Right, so we talked about that. So Thrawn is above Gideon. I think. But yeah. but people in the stream on the and the Watch Party were also saying that it's totally different factions. So a Moff so is like I a political party. Moff. Right. And, and then... Well, yeah, 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 yeah. So the Moffs were... Yeah, they were absolutely like basically the moths were just inner circle, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think that at one point, doesn't he say? Doesn't Tarkin say that the moths and individual governors will rule over their regions, basically? Mm -hmm. So like, I think the moths were because the other person that was a moth was of course Price, and. Oh no, she was a governor. She does she become a moth or is she just a governor? Now I'm like now I'm second guessing myself. I Price is a, a dude. Price? No, Grant uh Abigail uh Maybe in Price is, no, the lady uh the lady from Price, the, the guy from the sequels you're talking about. No, 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 no. I'm talking about the lady that's in Clone Wars and she's in the Thrawn novel. She becomes she's like Lethal's governor i'm pretty sure her name was price i could be wasn't lothal's governor a guy well before the empire yeah that you're talking about the dude in white right yeah yeah let me see what was his name, name. price anyways i don't know maybe yeah it's not yeah her know. name was price her name was arian the everyone made a big deal yeah, about michael yeah, bean Admiral, yeah price yeah She's a human female with the rank of Moth, and she served as governor of Lafal the Sector for 13 years. Yeah, so point is, like, we've already seen Moths be subservient to Thrawn. She was subservient to Thrawn. Oh, that's right? Pride. Yeah, that's Pride. Whoops. Pride is the other guy. He's the sequels yeah. guy, yeah. Yeah, okay, right on. Yeah, we got it. We got it figured out. Yeah. So Thanks, chat. Po so the point is, though, like, we kind of have precedence already for him being above a, a Moth. You know? Yeah. Man. Yeah. We'll see. But as far as the Sabine thing, Sabine's not dead. 100% no. With well, Ahsoka oh, being my favorite character. Oh. With well, Ahsoka being my favorite character, I was very pleased with the appearance. The voice is just going to get some getting used to, but I didn't like Matt's version of Anakin at first. Now I prefer it. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. I don't Point. prefer it, but it's great. It's good. It's real, real good. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. You ever seen Beverly Hills 90210? Yeah. Matt Lanter is in there. What? Wait, so you haven't seen it? I don't remember him being in there. He's like the main guy, man. What are you talking about? Really? Beverly Hills 90210. 
Five seasons. Oh, okay, I thought you. I was thinking of Beverly Hills Cops. No. Okay, I was gonna say like homies and Beverly. Hills no, Cops? Beverly Hills, dude. It's such a like drama a show. show. Right? I like, dude. I love it. I I love well, that show. It's like so okay, but yeah. entertaining. Was yeah. it like kind of like the OC a little or something like that? I I didn't watch the OC, but I don't know. I I, I remember watching that show ten years ago. I'm rewatching it now. It's it's just such an entertaining drama of like just. I never saw it. It's I'll great to watch when you don't have drama in your life. I love it. Yeah. I, I have not Fills seen the void. It, maybe someday I'll check it out, yeah. But anyways, seeing Matt Lantern in that is, is hilarious because all you can hear is just Anakin and he's like That make it, that would make it really watchable. He's like me, the bad boy know. and then he turns into like a model and then he it's it's so funny, dude. That's cool. I'm like it's freaking Anakin Skywalker, this is so cool. <laughs> yeah, That's funny, it's dude. cool. It's cool. Anyone in the chat seen it? Uh who's running the show? Thrawn or Gideon? Right, I think, I guess Thrawn now. Yeah, but again, Gideon is no joke. <laughs> what? So, I don't know, man. Did the mouse send Josh that Marvel hat? Someone asks. I cannot confirm or deny that I was sent a Marvel hat. Oh, okay. I guess I won't laugh. A month ago, you guys had discussed Grogu being a clone of Yoda. Has anything changed your opinion on this? Yeah, the fact that he was yeah, the fact that he was trained at the temple and he's in <laughs> yeah yeah. There's no way, dude. Like yeah, no, wouldn't... that's not happening. Yeah, but hey, at least I got the cold cloning thing part right. True. And then when I said uh, Palpatine was a cl is going to be a clone in Episode Nine, everyone laughed. I told everybody that Baby Yoda was gonna leave with Ahsoka, this episode. Oh everybody really? Gave me a hard time about it. And, I'm and like, she almost, he almost did. He almost did. I know. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Still might. And I said that she'll send him off to find another Jedi. Hey, I'm happy to be wrong. I love being surprised. You know what I mean? Like I do. Yeah. Um, but there is no right or wrong, bro. We're just fans. We're just dude, fans making fun, theories, man. and that's what people don't understand. Well, some people don't yeah. understand, but. Hmm. Yeah, a lot of people think she's from Dathomir, Dathomir that magistrate, huh? Nah. One of the Night Sisters. All in for Seb Stan to take the helm of Luke with modern day lightsaber choreography to its full potential compared to the OT days. Imagine seeing Luke in his prime wielding a saber with the sickness. Yeah. Oh my God! Please. 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 That's what we please, wanted to John. see. Dave, John, Dave, Dave, John. I remember before uh, uh, Last Jedi, I was I was doing a campaign. Hashtag ignite the green, dude. Yeah. Like, I wanted to see it so badly. I wanted to see it so badly. People might think you're sure you're talking about a different green. I know. Well, that was always the meme, right? Everybody was like, oh, yeah, ignite the green, bro. I was like, I mean, you could do that, too. But really talk about Luke, man. Yeah. Like. Yeah. Whatever. Oh well. The only time we saw it was in that stupid flashback. Yeah. Well, also in uh, Battlefront, I love that scene in Battlefront. I think that scene's great. Oh yeah. Um, right. Yeah. But yeah, you're right. Pretty lackluster. Yeah. I want Din to become the second ever Mando Force wielder, dark saber force ability, and title of Mandalore. I can dream, right? I guess it would be cool. I, it just be would it would just be too predictable. I guess. Well, no. You know what? It would be pretty sweet. Is, none of us see it coming, right? It'd be pretty sweet. You're right. Yeah, you're right. And then there's this thing that Dave did in this episode too, which seemed like a real Dave move, where Din says, "A Mandalorian and a Jedi, they'll never see it coming." Oh, and yeah. I could just see him writing that in his sketchbook, being like, "I'll <laughs> <laughs> never understand that I'm actually talking to them about Din You know what I mean? Yeah. And I love you, Dave. Watching, but like you know, you would do that shit. Uh, that'd be cool. Hey, theory, do you think that the original Grogu was captured and cloned, and this Grogu is the clone? Explains why his memory went dark. That's a cool theory. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Be probably tough, not, though, right? Yeah, probably not, right? But because then that means possible. they cloned a force sensitive, so. Right, which is like a miracle. That's which what is like what they're trying to do. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they're trying to do it. Uh, possibility Terrace Nube 
was the one to hide Grogu. Is that the one that's all wooly? He, he looks all like like a weird almost thing out of like... I can't remember, dude. I gotta... The name is what familiar. Terrace and Nube. Is that the, uh... Oh, right! Like the super... Yeah, he's super old, man. Like, he's yeah. super old. tagged us in this, right? Uh... Wow, I forgot about this guy. That's cool. I'd be down. Yeah, I'd be down for it. What the hell happened to him? I have no idea. I don't even remember. His master uh, was Yaddle, right? Uh, Is this, uh, this dude who's got like the really long fingernail kind of looking things? He's very old. Terra Sanube. Put him in yeah. Google. Terra Sanube? Yeah. He was helping Ahsoka for a bit in the beginning. Oh, yeah, this dude's sweet. I remember this guy. Yeah. Hey, why not, dude? I doubt it, though. Yeah, I kind of doubt it, too. Yeah. Yeah. Do you guys think that the final scene in Rebels where Ahsoka meets up with Sabine and Ezra hasn't happened in the... Right, so we explained that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there was a child in the Star Wars universe, and Grogu was his name. Grogu and Grogu is his name. Ooh. <laughs> No fixing Luke, no Skywalker is not happening. Who said that? Mm, Okidata. 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 Right on. A little, little grumpy, but I get it. All good. Uh, what's the gaming channel so I can sub? I don't game, but if it gets me the saber, I'm a sub. Wh whatever you want. Well, no, it won't get you the saber. I would just appreciate it. Uh, it's Theories Arcade. It's my gaming channel. I stream like yeah, four or five hours, six hours a day. And uh, uh, Cyberpunk's right around the corner for you. It man. is, man. Bro, I'm gonna get that too. I don't. And think then we'll play. Up though, man. Uh, they will. I, they I will wish... throw multiplayer on that eventually. They will. They will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we can even play like, and then at some point, like, at least link up in a stream or something, and like show each other our cool stuff. Yeah, we have to. Yeah. Yeah. I've been playing God of War for the last two weeks, nonstop. Lo I'm, it. I'm trying to platinum the game right now. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I already beat all. Pretty much everything. All the Valkyries, the main story. I'm hoping to be able to get a PS5 maybe early next year with like a restock or something. Um, and then I, I want to play that Miles Morales game bad, bro. I loved the first one. And at the time, I was living with a dude that had to play PS4 and uh, loved that Played game. it like crazy? So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I, I really am looking forward to that. The so. Spider-Man game was amazing. Uh, I played Miles Morales for like uh, I don't know, like five hours or so, and then okay. I started up God of War four again after like a year and a half of not playing it. I'm like, oh my god, I forgot how amazing this was, and I'm like, I have to and finish it. Probably the game looked now. even better like on PS5, right? Yeah, yeah. Looks that's, so that's good. One of the reasons, I mean, that's one of the reasons I want the PS5 and I want the X series, is because like, for instance, I want to see what Master Chief Collection looks like with like the ray tracing and some of the new graphical stuff that they do. Like, it's really interesting because it's basically like an artificial intelligence that can read the old game data and make it look like new 4K graphics, you know? It's pretty wild. Don't you have a Beast PC? I do have a Beast PC, and I could run MCC on my PC for sure. Um, but uh, I don't know. It's just something about Halo on an Xbox, man. I like uh, I feel you. I like Master Chief with the, with the sticks, but... I feel you. Yeah. yeah. Well, you can play the sticks on the... True, true. Yeah, but I, I know what you mean. There's a different feel. It's just like a nostalgic kind of... Yeah. I, I get it. Yeah. Yeah. It's also I less taxing really on the PC. Like, yeah, I just really like um, Halo on my, Console. On my Xbox. Yeah. yeah. Fair enough, dude. Yeah. I, I feel that. Do you think An Ahsoka knew Anakin redeemed himself? I don't know, man. I don't know if she knows what happened. It kind of seems like maybe she doesn't. I don't think she does. At least right now. I think she needs to meet Luke and he has to tell her. Yeah. Wow. What a cool moment that would be. And then maybe that's when she becomes Ahsoka the White. Maybe. She comes back to the Order, maybe? I don't know. What if Ezra's Plo Koon, lol, I posted a vid on it? What? Who are you? Star that's Wars Rob? I've ever heard. What? Uh, what if Ezra's Plo Koon? 
I posted a vid on it. It's just because Dave Filoni loves wolves. Hence Ezra's wolves and Plo Koon's wolf pack plus Ezra found... Yeah, I don't think so. Interesting. Ezra's not Plo Koon, bro. That's a different kind of Ignite the Green right there. <laughs> Yo. Yeah. It's okay. Didn't someone say that Snoke was Mace Windu? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think that was Vincent Vendetta. He had like... It, the video hit like a million views, dude. Sick. I remember that thumbnail, too. It was so basic. It was just Snoke on one side and Mace on the other side. I know. Yeah. That's back in the day when like... No, like, uh, YouTube was just different. How so? You could make a video like that and it would blow up right. <laughs> that's how it was different dog. <laughs> you know there were only i think uh i don't know how many star wars channels were there there, I, there was, there was this, a lot there was this one kid who uh i remember talking to him on twitter he was actually a really nice kid his name was uh, qui-gon josh do you remember this kid i think i remember qui-gon josh yeah yeah yeah, he was a nice kid. Can't recall Spoke to him a few his times. content, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, but yeah. Anyways, that was an interesting time. That was when The Force Awakens came out. Uh, Rogue One didn't come out yet. And I literally randomly started my channel, I think, in like, uh, yeah, end of July, early August. And then, um,. Yeah, it was like a different face for Star Wars YouTubers. There were just a few, and then now it's like there's a bajillion. Yeah, there's, there really are. There's there's a bajillion everyone's a Star Wars YouTuber. Or, or It's weird how much yeah. can change in, in four years, you know? It's weird how much can change in one year. Think about what Star Wars content was like early, like late last year, January. Yeah. And what it's like now. Yeah, True different feeling dude i hope it grows i hope more people if any of you are wanting to make a star wars channel please do it um it's super fun it's super enjoyable don't get in it for the money don't do it for the money if that's your goal you'll probably why well, I, I know a lot of star wars youtubers that do it for for money only but uh yeah You'll never reach your true level of uh, success, I feel like, if you focus on that. If you let that, that guide you. And you'll never be happy. You'll always be pretty going crazy. Um, just do it for fun, man. Start it, and you never know. You could be huge. Yeah. So. No, I mean, like, I absolutely started my channel in some ways as, like, therapy. And I think that... Hmm just getting on camera like i'll I, and i i don't know I'm, I'm curious if you've had this effect as well doing this for so long now like three plus years of like talking into the camera you know communicating with people online i feel like i'm so much better of a speaker and a communicator now than i was three years ago like i i feel so comfortable on camera so comfortable when i speak to people like so there's benefits to doing this where even if you never blew up or like became really famous or whatever mm. you can still get a lot of value i see I what you're saying out of you know what i mean like out of doing this sort of thing i can't say i notice that i never felt uh yeah i always felt pretty comfortable yeah yeah i think for me it definitely it, that's good like yeah it sharpened up a, a part of me that was a little more dull back then that's for sure yeah i started as a joke i started the channel as a joke so not oh, as a really? joke but no not as a joke but like um i just remember i remember the day i started i was like i saw some other star wars channels and i thought it was lame um just being real and i didn't like their yeah. theories and i'm like i have a theory and i had this terrible cold and i was like sniffling and sneezing i was just like super you know when you're you're like sick in your home board and stuff so i was just like that and i was like yeah okay and i just spoke into my phone and i put it into iMovie and uh <laughs> that was it and i for literally forgot about the channel for three weeks to a month wow yeah and then you just kind of came back to it and slowly started uh, yeah, yeah. I went on YouTube one day and I was like, oh, why do I have notifications? And I was like, why do I have 
200 subscribers. Yeah. And then I then I was like, oh yeah, I posted a video, and then I uh, made another video and um, I don't remember what it was, but I just remember them tanking. I remember them doing really bad, and I'm like, well, I just always remember looking at the fact that there were people that were commenting and i thought that was yeah. so cool because for me it's like it is yeah like i didn't have any friends that liked star wars in real life really maybe like one but you know he lived uh like 12 hours by car away or Dang. plane ride yeah it was my best friend i met him on a, a star wars forum when we were kids actually and nice. uh yeah it turned out to be the same age we have the same interests we still talk to this very day he has a star wars channel so i inspired him to make a star wars channel with his cool, uh with his man. fiance yeah leia's lair yeah nice dude That's yeah awesome. yeah so it's my best buddy and yeah then i just made some more videos and i just thought it was so cool people were commenting and i'm like oh cool this is so sweet and i just yeah i don't know now now we're here i guess yeah, of course there was a lot in between remember, that but yeah of course of course i remember one of the big moments was i remember when that first video hit fourteen thousand views and I realized, and I had this epiphany because I was in comics and I was working really hard on comics and trying to get people to read my comics. And uh, I just remember thinking like, dude, I just reached way more people than have ever bought my comics and I did it in a couple hours. Yeah. And then like, I started to like think about it and I was like, dude, what if maybe I shouldn't be worrying so much about the comic stuff and then i remember when i was at a i was an editor-in-chief for an imprint at the time a small press publisher and i literally quit i was like i have to focus on this youtube stuff because it's really cool yeah you know and i just remember like being really obsessed with it and uh like getting into the analytics and just getting curious about it and stuff i never got into cool. I, I never understood analytics until maybe like a month or two ago i just oh, didn't really? yeah i just i didn't i didn't understand it i don't know i would just always upload a video and i would just see how it does and then yeah. i would just make videos on what i thought was cool or what what interested me and that was it um i think your videos have always been one of the things i think that you do really well that i think a lot of other star wars youtubers don't like even necessarily understand is like you make the information really accessible so even though it's really sometimes sweaty and really nerdy you walk them through the like you make it really easy to understand oh you know what i mean Thanks. like i've always noticed that about your stuff where it's like you just have a really good way of like kind of just succinctly explaining the thing uh, and I think that a lot of Star Wars YouTubers, really good Star Wars YouTubers, they totally forget how not sweaty most fans are. And they get way too crazy with, like, the stuff they're talking about. And they just they just literally leave behind so many people that don't know, you know? So, I don't know. I always thought that that was a really good part of your content. That Thanks, I man. That I think has helped you out a lot, you know? Oh, cool. Thanks. I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. It's nice hearing that feedback. I don't... Yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't get feedback like that. So yeah. I don't. I don't well, I really read that's feedback. I always on, What's up? I don't really. I don't really read feedback or, or or do people post feedback on on my video making process or what they. They're just like, oh, this is a cool video. Thanks so much for making content. Like that's. Yeah. But it's never. It's, so it's interesting. Yeah. It's it's uh, what I'm saying is it's, it's cool to see your point of view on from one creator to another. That's cool, man. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, I mean, it's just something I notice, and I think that it maybe other people don't even necessarily notice it but like mm. they're they're into it and they they maybe don't know why they're more into it than other stuff you know and i think it's because it's 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 more welcoming than a lot of other stuff you know that's cool thanks bro yeah, sure. yeah well i don't know what i do i just i just make vids and that's you know that's kind of that's it so it's like a bro talking to you about star wars i guess Heck yeah man Ye yeet um I let you tell me things so I don't have to research them on my own. Ah, 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 ah. Yeah, I don't know. YouTube's an interesting game. Um, it is, dude. And I didn't see it as a game. Uh, I still don't see it as a game, but I can see how others see it as a game. Uh, 
especially when I get like some content creators who I never speak to, like messaging me about analytics and stuff. And I'm like, like, we don't talk. Second of all, why are you sending me this? It's yeah. just such a, it's just, there's so many that I know that are just about the views. And for me, it rubs me the wrong way because it's Star Wars was such an important, integral part of my entire life. Yeah. Whereas, you know, being an outcast in school, you come home and you, you read your Star Wars stuff or you go on your Star Wars forums and you talk about Star Wars with people online. And that for me was my thing where I would watch Star Wars with my dad every night. And there was like this ritual we had, we'd make tea, we would have some snacks and we would watch, you know, one, two or, th or um, episode four, five or six. Hmm. And then as I grow, grew older, it was, you know, the, the prequels and all that. Hmm. Um, so for me, when I, when I see people doing it in a quote unquote clickbaity disingenuous way, it it bugs me and I just write them off immediately. So, um, but I, I think for me I have to do a little internal searching, I have to understand that it, it is a business at the end of the day for a lot of people yeah. and for myself too, it is like, uh, but it just so happens my intentions and, and my soul within it is different. Um, but at the end, there are many people who see it as such and I some of them are more successful than the other and and that's just about yeah. tweaking and playing the game so to speak so yeah I yeah, can, I I can see that my feeling on it is kind of interesting because like I think <clears throat> like I'm I'm one that definitely chases success and I'm very fond of growth and and being successful but I also think that a lot of these people that some of the people that I think you're describing they're very they're sort of short-sighted where they may not understand that, yeah, this tactic is going to get you more views in the short term, but there's no way to build brand loyalty through some of these tactics. Like the, like the constant clickbait or the constant grifting on something that triggers people. It's going to work because that's what the algorithm is favoring right now. But I think we are headed in a direction where people are going to not like that anymore and not want the algorithm just to trigger us and you know do all that and once that goes away if you haven't built brand loyalty if you haven't built a relationship with your community if you haven't provided value outside of feeding this stupid machine that is the algorithm then you're going to fail and i think that that takes forethought it's like yes i want to succeed and i want to play the game to the best of my ability to get the views that i can get but I also have to understand that if I only do that, I cut off the potential future customer that I want. You know what I mean? So to me, it's like, and this is this is just a business thing. It's like a lot of people are super short-sighted, you know, like they yeah. want the quarterly profit, not necessarily like the legacy brand, you know? Hmm. Yeah, that's, that's a good way of looking at it too. Yeah. Because they just don't even know. Like, it's funny because they, they probably think they're doing the right thing. And they are for the machine. But you have to understand that this is a people game, ultimately. This is a people game, you know? Like, you are... You should be focused on providing value to, to human beings, not to a, an algorithm. Mm. You know? I would take it one step... Uh, to the side of that and say that I look at it as um, what kind of content would I want to see? Absolutely. So what what would I want to talk? What do I want to say? If I'm, if I'm talking to my friend today, so, so when I make videos, I, I think of me talking to my buddy about Star Wars. Yeah. So what do I want to talk about today? What do I feel like talking? And that's why all of my videos, 99% of them were on the fly. Yeah. Yeah, and I agree. And I think there's like there's all sorts of different types of content that I think we can all make too, right? So like I made a video today where I was like spending a lot of time on a particular edit that I think if I get out tomorrow or the next day, we'll still do decently big numbers because there's a lot of interest around, you know, Dave Filoni and, and the sequel trilogy. But ultimately, it's not a video that I know for sure will blow up the preview video I do on Wednesday, that will do great numbers, you know, and I will craft a video. It'll be, you know, somewhat clickbaity. It'll say like preview for the next episode. People will like it. It'll be at the time when people are anticipating it will get big views. 
So it's like part of it's sort of knowing how your particular type of content fits into maybe the audience that's watching you. Um, and there's a difference between being smart about, okay, here's the timing of when this will succeed most. And then just being like, how can I literally extract as much AdSense click money as I can from this thing that I know people are interested in? That right. is a horrible way to, to, to approach, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, so yeah, prolonging yeah. a video and, and, and just, just yeah. literally BSing your way through the whole thing just to extend the watch time and you get oh, to the yeah. point at like the end of the video and it's like some clickbait bs title that it, you don't even address in it and it's like your 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 title is factual but then in the video it's some loose complete pulled out of your you know what theory that you have and it's like placed at the end of the video and i've I'm, I've seen these people, I've seen these channels, and uh, some of them have been very nasty towards me online. And it's just, it's just another way of doing videos, I guess. You know, it's just another yeah, way of well, uh, I call the those game. people, for the most part, algorithm junkies. And the thing is, it's like, I'm not saying they, they could never snap out of it and they're incapable of making great content. And the truth is, I think not they're incapable. Even... I think they're incapable of making great content. I think some because of them they're are. not, I, I believe they're not actual fans and they're just good at getting clicks and there's a big difference there's definitely some of those and those are the worst right those look there, the there's also look worst. so so i'll let you guys in on a little thing so when you when so this video will be turned into a closed caption um auto generated by youtube that creates a script that script in turn turns into seo so if yes, i keep saying is. baby yoda grogu ahsoka Dark Saber, The Mandalorian Season 2 trailer, The Mandalorian Season 2 reaction, The Mandalorian... If I keep dropping these keywords into my script, you're going to be like, well, what the hell does this guy keep repeating this word for? But there's a reason. It's because this, what I say, will be turned into text. And that text will feed the algorithm of the SEO. And that's what a lot of these other channels do. And it's just like this constant reiteration of the same stupid tags while they're talking it's like yeah. the mandalorian season two the baby yagrogu the child yoda it's like mm -hmm. these aren't star wars fans these are guys just that know the game and this yeah. is what i mean by the game and the, they're they're killing it they're succeeding at it but they're not in my mind in my heart of hearts they're not genuine star wars fans which for me rubs me the wrong way because i am a genuine star wars fan yeah. it just so yeah. happens that i'm also successful at what i do yeah but that's not because i'm good at the game that's because i'm good at knowing star wars at least yeah. to the things that i the 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 small arena that i do know star wars yeah it's it's funny man like i feel i feel what you're saying and it's it's interesting because i think like my take on it again is more like even if even from just the business because i'm like a i'm like a big time like capitalist and like i really like business i really like economics and i would I tell it. these people that even if they're going to be the mo even if they're that's their intention to be the to soak the most money out and, and they're not true fans even with all of that said i still think they're doing it the wrong way i still think they're making a boneheaded decision that google has sort of forced them into making because it's the only way they can actually make their content work i feel like they're making short term they're going to do damage google could turn that google could change that algorithm like that yeah you know what i mean and then they would be scared like because there's no brand loyalty there mm. so i think these people are making really stupid decisions but just my opinion you know yeah I don't think there's a right or wrong way of doing it. I think there's just a, a way that resonates with the viewer differently, and that's why different people have different subscribers, right? Totally fair, yeah. Totally fair. So, I don't know. I'm just having fun. I'm just finding my way. I'm a simple man trying to find my way in the universe, and uh, I happen to be a Star Wars fan, and I'm just possibly. making videos, possibly. Yeah. Did you hear that, uh, that rumor that Django knew um, that he was spying on what Obi-Wan was saying to Anakin at the very beginning? What? Yeah, so that's no, why he... Yeah, so there's a theory that Django was listening to what 
Obi-Wan and Anakin were talking about before he actually attacked, sent the Kuhans to to kill Padme. And so um, when Obi-Wan, what was the line? He's like, uh, uh, your forces are not, a t- your your abilities aren't as, t- as attuned to the force as mine are a young apprentice or something like that. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. My young Padawan. And uh, what, did, what did Anakin say? He said something. And he's like, and yours are. And then and yeah. Obi-Wan's like, possibly and then Django yeah. <laughs> is like possibly so that's what True. the theory is treading like upon that. yeah it's kind of cool Ooh, makes you think yeah, I like that makes yeah. you think he's like mocking him yeah that's neat yeah that is neat yeah Mike Zero posts to Hayden Chris no I'm not talking about Mike, uh, 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 Mike Zero I think Mike Zero is a nice guy he does do some of that stuff that you're talking about though I wasn't talking about him at all I wasn't yeah, talking I about him at all like- at all. At all. <laughs> we're all we're all a little guilty in this game theory, you know? Absolutely. I've for sure hey, look, I'm successful because I mix being a Star Wars fan in with also knowing what I'm doing. True. True. You know, and it took me four yeah. years, four and a half years to get to that point of knowing what the hell I'm doing. Yeah. So but it originally started out with me wanting to make Star Wars content because it's fun. The fan passion is what drove it. Yeah, so that was the original uh, ignition. Going along the way, you learn things, and of course I'm going to apply those things because I want to get my videos out there more. So for me, it was never about the views. It was about um, something that would bug me was was I'd look at other channels and I would see the, the crap that they would put in their videos. Uh, the low production value, the the, just the overall presentation of it and what they would say, a lot of it was just, in my opinion, was just garbage and it was just, uh, yeah, phony. So, yeah, yeah, it was just, it was yes. And so when I saw that they would get more views than me, uh, it bugged me so much because I knew how much time I would put into my videos and how much care and how much I like fact checking I would do for the most part at least. I mean, I messed up my fair share, but that's something that would annoy me. So it wasn't like, like, oh no, this video didn't get views, which is something I hear a lot of YouTubers talk about. For me, it was like, oh no, people didn't appreciate my video as much as this right. guy who, Suck. you know. Sucky you, feeling to have. This yeah. guy was just like bamboozling people, you know, and that's, that's something that would always bug me. But now I guess, um, I don't think like that anymore because I just, first of all, because I get views and second yeah. of all, because I just, I don't know. I don't care anymore. Yeah, and you've also probably just grown as a person, and you probably just don't. Well, yeah, a lot of that. Yeah. A lot of that. I mean, that's yeah. true. That's yeah. so true of me too. Like, yeah. I, it's funny because, like, I'm a totally different person than I was three years ago when I started this. You know, like I'm a totally different person. Yeah. I did things back then that I would not do now. Yeah. You know, and, yeah. and that's just being human, man. But I'm gonna use the restroom real quick. I'll be back. Okay. All right, man. Cool. No, I'm not talking about Mike Zero, dude. I think Mike's a nice guy. At all. No. There are a few others, though, but I don't want to get into details of who they are because it's just irrelevant. Um, Ivan says, I think Ezra will train baby like Kanan did. Nah. I don't think so. Who thinks Rahul is going to be Ezra? Because you see him posting a lot of that stuff, right? What if Anakin took Grogu from the Jedi Temple after killing the younglings during Order 66? No, that wouldn't work because Anakin had to do everything he had to do in order to turn to the dark side in order to have the power to save Padme. So doing that would go against everything that he was trying to do and saving Padme was his numero uno. So saving Grogu wasn't... It was someone else. It was definitely someone else. It was Palpatine. It was Mace Windu. It was... Yoda, Bale, I don't know, I'm not sure. If Mace survived and rescued Grogu with the reveal of Boba being alive, he would be very interested in finding out Mace is alive to finally get revenge. I think so too, yeah. I want Cal to show up, Gideon defeats him and Mando, then Luke shows up. Ahsoka didn't say only one Jedi will show up, so why not both? Unlikely, I know. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get both. That'd be a little bit too special. But it is possible. We could get both of them. Um, Read that the next episode will be the shortest at 32 minutes. 
Well, that's not good. Um, you think it's going to be another pit stop kind of thing? Where he's just going to, like, stop on some planet? Maybe he's going to pick up Grief and Kara. But I think it's, I think it could be the librarian, Jocasta New, you know? I feel like this timeline would be great to introduce Kyle Katarn, and he leads them to Luke Skywalker. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> I, I'd lose it. Uh, I love your consistent great work. I love how Rosario Dawson hit it out of the park with her portrayal of my favorite character and the one I grew up with, Ahsoka Tano. Thanks, Ahsoka and Haney. Yeah, I agree. She did a really good job. You guys are the best. You separate... You... Your separate shows rock, and now that you two together, the two best Star Wars minds together... I don't know about that, but... I, I'm glad you appreciate us. Thank you. I hope that the episode of Mando spawns the Rebels sequel series. I like that the show should be about Ahsoka, Luke, and Ezra trying to rebuild the Jedi Order with Thrawn as the villain. It would be very good. It would be very good. It would be a lot of air... Well, no, actually it wouldn't be. But if they do incorporate Maul as a clone, then it could be very George Lucas-esque. Egg. Imagine seeing a live action scene with Ahsoka meditating and she hears a voice behind her saying, Hey Snips, and it's Anakin's Force Ghost with Hayden. So I don't think we're going to see Hayden until the Obi Wan show. What do you think about that, Josh? Yeah, probably not. But it would be cool to see him in Force Ghost form. Yeah, it'd be cool for sure. Something we've been wanting to see forever. Yeah. Things I want with Luke. One, help take back Mandalore. Two, teach Grogu and Yoda like Grogu, what, like Yoda taught him. Defeat Yuzon Vong. Four, defeat Abeloth and sacrifice all. That'd be interesting. What do you think about Abeloth being brought in in some way? It would be very, very legends. Dude, and it would be would cool. Be deep. Yeah. But I mean, it would segue so much from the sequels, which I guess they could do. Did you see the um, the High Republic thing? There was a High Republic thing that looks like Abeloth. Like, the way she has her mouth that, like, opens super wide. You. The thing. Yeah. I'll try to find it and send it to you. It was, like, in one of the trailers they did for the High Republic. Oh, weird. Yep. You so if you know. guys don't know, Abeloth is the mother. So you got the father, the daughter, the son... Abeloth is the mother. Yeah. yeah. Cool story yeah. about her. Made a video on it. Yeah. As an Ahsoka cosplayer, Ahsoka looks great. It's canon that Togruta markings and head change slightly with age, diet, and activity. Can imagine the Rebels design looking top heavy and goofy IRL. Yeah, hmm. Emma. Yeah. I feel like it would have looked a little bit weird. Well, just imagine like those Montreals, like the, or the, the, the Leku coming down. Like it just would look it would just be too much. It would just be too in the way of her trying to fight. Yeah, I agree. I think I think we were always going to have uh, some kind of difference from animation yeah. to live action. I mean, sure, have you of seen course. what Vader looks like in Rebels? Like, it's super stylized. <laughs> like, he's smooshed. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know. He looks angry. Yeah. yeah. Like, looks, looks like a vacuum cleaner a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, Den of Theory. Uh, sorry, hey, Den of Nerds. Oh, thanks for nothing on your thumbnails. Mm. Angry, angry fan. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. He's, he's not fine. happy. You'll be fine. He's not happy. Um, if we see young Ben, uh, how does it advance the story since we already know how it's going to turn out? There has to be a compelling reason to show him. I mean, I totally disagree. I mean, all of the prequels happen in a time period when we know what's going to happen with Anakin. So it's crazy to think that you can't get, do good Star Wars or do a compelling story or give a compelling character just because you know how something's going to end up. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, which is what I was saying. I was like, ah, oh, I just don't know how it's going to be. Prove me wrong. I mean, I, I, yeah, I don't know. He kills the blood carver. Who does? Do you think Obi-Wan likes turtles? Because I like turtles. I don't think they exist in Star Wars. Space turtles, maybe. Turtle maybe they have, uh, 
a hyperdrive system in them. Gentlemen, I pitched to you this, a Force Ghost spinoff with Anakin, the Bendu, and Force Priestesses teaming up with Ezra and Thrawn to stop Abeloth and the Grisk. That's wild, dude. Sometimes I think our theory is a little too wild. Yeah. No, I, I think the like I think that. the Obi Wan Plo Koon, or what what was it? What do you say? Someone who's Plo Koon? Ezra's Plo Koon? Oh yeah, Ezra's Plo Koon. Yeah, that's probably the wildest. That was thing the I've wildest I've ever heard. Yeah. I'm never gonna fail. Shout out to that guy. That was. Yeah. Ben starts training when he's 11 and turns when he's 23. Yeah, but where? How do you know that? Yeah. Like, where does yeah. that come from? I've heard that before. Yeah, I've heard that before too. I, yeah, always been a huge Star Wars fan. Maybe Luke's been like away. He's like, he's like, hey Ben, I'm your unk. Sup? Yeah. Well, he, you're eleven you know, now. He is, he is pretty focused on his own stuff. But yeah, well, maybe. Need a Mando Luke reveal. Episode seven cliffhanger was awful. JJ wrote Luke has disappeared and stranded him on a scaredy cat island. <laughs> mm hmm. But the original version that JJ wrote. Would have seen Luke moving massive the rocks boulders, around yeah. while he was meditating and being like godlike with his power. But Ryan changed that and then they changed it in the film. Oh, yeah. Is that what Ryan asked JJ to, fil to change? Yeah. That's what he asked him to change. Because I knew he asked him something and JJ was like, yeah, he asked me to change this one thing. Yeah, it was the Luke thing at the end, yeah. Just the more you hear about this guy, you're like, <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> there you, I can see you going dark side. Don't do it. Don't give in to your hate. I think Ryan's rationale was, I want to make everyone really angry. He said that a long time ago. He's like, my perfect movie yeah. is one that has a divided audience, where one leaves hating it, thinking it's the worst thing they've ever seen, and the other one loving it. Oh, yeah. Yep. Sounds sounds like him. Yeah. Who says that? Yeah. It's a bummer. What's the thing someone said once? The Last Jedi is Ryan Johnson... What what is it? L licking the the jar of Nutella or something and putting it back on the shelf or something like that. Yeah, that makes sense. That does feel like his attitude too, though. It really does. I mean, it, I, I I'm not trying not to totally crap on the guy, but it absolutely is the attitude that he espoused. It's indicative of some of the things he said to fans. Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan. I like Colin Trevorrow. That's all I can say. He's pretty cool. Yeah. I spoke to him once. Grogu equals space Pikachu. <laughs> Butler? Yeah. I've made it clear that I hate the sequels, but if Favreau and Filoni manage to make sense of them in TV for format, they should not only run Lucasfilm, but also get a Nobel Peace Prize for reuniting the entire Star Wars fan base. Yeah, I agree with that. True. True. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with that, man. Hey, Theory and Josh, my name is Nathan, and I'm a huge fan of both. I just want to say that you both, through all of Corona, help my mental health. Thanks, Nathan. Yeah, man. Thank you, man. I was helped a lot by the people on my channel and, like, doing the streams a lot. Uh, it really helped me out to be yeah. able to hang out with people all the time. So, uh, I thank you guys, man. Yeah. Yeah, that's what a lot of people don't understand is, like, you guys help us just as much as you claim we help you so yeah um luke goes to tython that's where he gets the sacred texts he won't train grogu but bestows knowledge to help in his training din keeps grogu as a foundling and sets him on the path to become the next jedi mandalorian could be i like it yeah because i mean he's grogu's not at luke's temple in the sequels so he obviously Correct. goes and does his own thing mm -hmm. maybe mando dies yeah. Hey Theory, long time fan, first time super chat. Thanks, dude. Love what you do for both the Star Wars community and people overall. Love you and Josh together. I love me and Josh together too. I think we're a good team. We got a we got a good thing going on, man. The Rebel Panda says it. 
payday about the Mando. He sends five pounds. Thanks, dude. Payday about the Mando and Force thing. Isn't it that everyone in Star Wars has access to the Force, but only a few can use it as they would use yeah. it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so everyone's got the Force running through them, but only some of them have that that faucet turned on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a great way to think of it. Mm -hmm. It's like supernatural people. Like people who can sense yeah, ghosts yeah. and stuff. It would be like not I all think of them. Of it as like, a lot of them are phonies. If you were like, if if it was like D and D, it's like everybody's like maybe a level one wizard with the force. Yeah. But like occasionally, like homie just comes in at level five and is able to do things with it that just other people aren't. Um, right. And I think that's just maybe that's the M count. Maybe that's. Yeah. Maybe the M count is actually just correlated to something else, you know? But yeah. yeah, that's the way I think of it. Love the podcast. The latest episode is better, in my opinion, than the whole sequel trilogy combined. Ahsoka is one of the best in Star Wars. I agree. Agreed. Yeah, thanks for that, Kingdom. I think Grogu and Mando will go to the remains of a Jedi temple on the planet Tython and reach out, and then that's how they bring back Kellen Merrick? <laughs> Nah. Talk about crazy. Disney yeah. would never yeah. allow that. I don't think they would, yeah. I think he tips the scales too much. I think he's crazy. Yeah, I like how you guys disagree on stuff. Yeah, me too. It makes it more interesting. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. 100%. I love it. It'd be boring if we were like, mm -hmm, yep, 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 yep. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and plus, even when we agree, sometimes we don't fully agree and we want to, like, explain our stuff, you know? Yeah, which is cool. Right, like yeah. the whole, like, yeah, sequels. And, yeah, I love that. Who has more power, Grand Moff or Grand Admiral? I guess Grand Admiral. Yeah. We don't know for sure, but... I th dude, I... I think Grand Moff, bro. I think Grand Moff. It's possible. I think Look, Grand Moff has more power. Look, Tarkin had more totally power than charge. Vader. Yeah, agreed. And... Look, the dude's awesome. And he brought the pain, and, and he's got the, the dark troopers, and so far Thrawn is just name drop. We don't know what that's all about. So, we'll see. It's I would love to see them in separate factions, actually. But is Gideon a Grand Moff? I thought he's just Moff. As far as I know, there was only one Grand Moff, right? Tarkin, right? Yeah. But then maybe after Tarkin dies, Gideon takes his place. It's totally possible. I, I don't really know too much about that. You know? Can someone tweet Sam Whitwer? Anyone got his number? <laughs> yeah, man. He needs to explain this to us. Man, we need to get him on the show. That'd be dope. Hey, Theory, I'm a huge <laughs> fan, and I always watch your theory vids and make some of my own. Do you think Gideon is a non-Force-sensitive Inquisitor? Nah. Appreciate that, Ryan, but nah. Yeah, probably not. Could Ezra be the donor mentioned in the hologram? I no, I think it's Grogu. Love the podcast, guys. Any ideas why they just why they didn't just use CGI to make Ahsoka's Leku longer? Since the, yeah, they, that's what I was wondering too. It's like you just CGI it. Yeah, maybe they tried it. You know, you never know. But it looked like, weird. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that we just don't know, and then there's reasons that it ends up looking the way it looks. Follow up on Josh. Din isn't actually Mando, so. He is. Well, he's a foundling. He's not of the ruling class. Well, no, but it's a creed. Royal... Right, exactly. So, like, again, I think that's actually kind of dope that if he were to be that and also Force-sensitive, it's kind of a crazy story. And also, he would help Bo and Boba win back the planet. So, yeah. like, his legacy is potentially legendary AF. We're just now watching it start. Yeah. 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 How many seasons do you think we're going to get? At least four. Unless I'm wrong, I don't think Quinlan Voss is confirmed dead. Any chance he comes into the picture? Yeah, last time I heard he's not dead, so I hope he comes in. He's he dope as hell. He's an awesome character, so yeah, it'd be cool. What do you think about the Magistrate? I saw they confirmed she was one of the last survivors of Dathomir. Isn't that supposed to be Pale White? I haven't seen that confirmed, but hmm. it does feel like that could work. <laughs> How mad will you be if they make the next episode a side quest filler episode as opposed to them going to the straight to Titan? I think that's they're probably going to make it a side quest. Yeah, I think we're almost, we've been sort of primed for that. 
Yeah. Yeah. So I'm I wouldn't be mad at all. I'd love a just a day in the life of uh uh Moff Gideon though. Yeah, dude, show us his life. What what is he up to? What's he doing? Yep. I think Din saves Grogu because he wants to because he wants to do for Grogu what the Mandalorians did for him. He knows what it's like to be abandoned. Yeah. Yeah, that's, I mean, he's a founder. And also, Grogu's you know. really cute. So, I mean... Yeah. How could you just leave that little guy? Hey, Theory, not sure if you remember me, but I have a Star Wars half-sleeve, and you were a big inspiration for bringing my love black back. So glad I have Captain Vaughn on my arm uh, to rep Ahsoka. Dude, I, I remember you, man. You had a sick sleeve, I remember. Uh, you sent me nice. pictures. Yeah, that was cool. Uh, can't wait to see Mara Jade. I wonder if Quinlan Voss will appear. Theory, nice hat, my guy. I'm not feeling Cal showing up. Thanks, man. Yeah, I got this from the um, celebration yeah, shop thing. Yeah. Um, I think. Yeah, I don't know. Cal could show up, but maybe they'll just leave him for the games. What do you think? I'd love to see Cal show up. I don't know, man. I, I really don't. Um, they could absolutely do it, but yeah, it does feel like it kind of ruins maybe the suspense of the next game if he shows up, right? Yeah. So, I guess. Oh, oh, yeah. So cool. This one doesn't flicker, and the other one does. I hmm. That's pretty wild. Live. Oh, you want to see something wild? Vader yeah. with a blue saber. Oh snap! That's yeah, weird. I like that though. Yeah, it's cool. Right. I love how it Please. flickers. Yeah. Yeah, I really like the flicker actually. Now, would these things be good enough to use as props on screen? Would you use these? Yeah, so all of these I'm going to use when I film episode two. Dope. Yeah, whenever it happens. You, you, you do like additional VFX on top of it, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. I would love to talk to you more about that kind of stuff too, because man, that, that stuff seems so fun. Well, I wanted to send you the script. Uh, I just, I forgot. I was thinking about it the other day. Yeah, man. It's all love good. to see what you think. Yeah, but I mean, it's... Yeah. Pretty much, uh, been revised like 10 times, um, maybe more than that. And I was having other people work on it, like, but now it's just me. So, yeah, it's just me, and I'm going to be directing it, and, um, it's cool. I I'd love to know what you think. Yeah, it's sent it to me for sure. I'll check it out. Yeah. Yeah, maybe after this. So don't, don't go nowhere heard that can't wait to see Mara Jade <laughs> yeah right uh I think Gideon and his Imperial loyalists are loyal to Vader and Thrawn and his crew is loyal to no one which is why it was easy for him to use Sith influence over it and Ahsoka somehow lost the battle to stop the final order hmm hmm could be yeah Thrawn's like not that. really loyal to anybody I guess well it's now. tough because like, it's funny because I think he's super... That's what treason is all about, right? The Thrawn novel. It's like, is it's he really treason. loyal to the Emperor or not, right? Yeah, right. And it's real. I walked away from that book thinking, yes, he's loyal to the Emperor, but he'll always be thinking of the Ascendancy first. You know what I mean? But Thrawn's so smart that he'll usually find a solution that's what the Emperor wants, and what's best for the Chiss. What do you That's think of the term Skywalkers? I love it. The girls. I, love it. I think it's crazy that they that they had that and that it's an interpretation. Yeah, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. With Jar Jar, will Darth Jar Jar show up at the... No. <laughs> also, I believe Mando may be Force-sensitive theory because of his flying and reactions during duels. No, I don't think yeah, so. Yeah, and he seems really good in combat. No, dude. I'm just saying. I'm telling you, I'm going to die on this hill. Din possibly respond to Grogu on Titan? Dijin? Dijin Altis? What do you mean? I don't know. Jin, like Jin Urso? Or what's Theory, you should do it. John is for the core fandom. His words. What's your favorite cheese, both of you? God damn it, Wesley. I love seeing you, brother. Hope to see you on the gaming channel tonight. This cheese question. This cheese question, dude. It's been months. 
every every stream. Uh, retcon the sequel trilogy. I'm down for that. Yeah, we'll see. See how it goes. They never will, but I, yeah, I'd be I'd down. Be so if they let's just say it. if they announce that, I'd I'd be happy. I'd be like, yay! Yeah, I know, honestly, I wouldn't be that mad about it, but I'd also be like, what? Hmm. Like you spent a lot of money on those sequels, and they actually made a fair bit of money too. Yeah, they made a lot of money, but I mean, yeah. Disney Plus and. <laughs> What did you say? Disney Plus and Thrust. Oh, nice, dude. Oh, jeez. I, like I like that. Oh, Very my God. Friendly. Very fair. Uh, that's better than Netflix and chill. Yeah. It is. But it doesn't they rhyme. Should go right at them. They should go right at them with an ad campaign. Mm. So Mace Windu survived from the fall from the window, returned to the temple, rescued Grogu, and somehow wiped the youngling mind because hence his memory loss. Yeah, maybe. And then abandoned him? Yeah, right. Like, There's definitely something that doesn't add out. Yeah. Love you both. Long time sub of each. I think the years Grogu has taken that his development had been stunted and is only just starting to grow. Non-force growth, personal growth. Right, so he was so much stronger in the force and then now he's just like... Let it go. Well, he just hides his abilities. Mm-hmm. So he's very reluctant. That's an again, he, I think that like the reason he stops the Mudhorn, yeah, is because he feels a connection to Din. Now that's true no matter what. But what I'm just saying is I'm suggesting that it's maybe induced by the Force. So, um, yeah, maybe. Yeah, he he hides all that stuff. <sighs> Mabes. Yeah. I think we're going to see Force Lightning out of him. That'd be cool. They've been setting him up as Vader-esque, and even Vader was second in command. Gideon is following Thrawn because it's in his best interest. True. I feel I that. Think about that. He's like a Vader to Thrawn's as the Emperor. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah, that's dope. Yeah. Because, like, how crazy would it be if you have one guy who's, like, this big bad, and then all of a sudden he starts bowing to someone else? It's like, what? Who's yeah. this guy? And Thrawn, and Thrawn's so tactical too that he doesn't need to be like in the front lines to be crazy, right? You know, right. So have Gideon be the sword, and have Thrawn be like the the, the brain. John and Dave are the wills of Lucasfilm. I agree. Yeah, you see, Amando hairstylist said the magistrate is from Dathomir. She deleted her comment, but I made a video on it in my. On my new channel that you inspired me to make, you're the best man, Darth Boogie. That's awesome, bro. Keep up with the videos and have fun with it, man. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Just a quick note on the Ahsoka race deal. People say that Rosario is not black and should not... What? But most confused race with nationality? I don't think any of that stuff matters, man. Just pick an yeah, actor. Pick an actor. Who's... I have no idea what you're talking about. That's too much if they brought Maul back again. Oh, no. Really? Too much, you say? No way. Could Ezra be the yeah. apprentice? He used the dark side. Maybe. Ahsoka returns. She's the one tracking down Thrawn. She could be using him as bait, dude. Mando? Oh, yeah. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool theory. Thrawn and Gideon are wrestling for control of the Empire. Thrawn is the one who took out the kill-only bounty that IG-11 was carrying out in Season 1, Episode 1. I like that a lot. Could make sense. Hmm. Because it did always confuse me. That's kind of cool. Cool theories. You guys should make your own Star Wars theories. Do you know what the hand of Thrawn... What, what, is it going to be like some cheese question again, Wesley? No, but the Hand of Thrawn, I believe, was his separate faction during that time. And there were, were some people like the chick. Isn't it like the, the dude that Talon's hanging out with at first is like his own faction? Because there, there was the Empire and then there was the Empire of the Hand. I believe that was Thrawn's sort of faction. 
Well, it's but not I'm, canon anymore. No, no. But they could certainly, uh, they could certainly bring it back. Yeah, just like they brought back Typhon. <laughs> right. The Leku were shorter because to accommodate for stunts, Filoni and Rosario tried it with the accurate Leku length, but it just didn't work. Oh, okay, cool. So is that actual fact? I think he talked about it today, or maybe it was in... Rosario did a big interview today, too. I haven't got a chance to look at everything. Hmm. I think it was like Entertainment Weekly or Vanity Fair. It's like a big spread. So a lot of people were saying it's chock full of cool info. Cool. I think she's coming back, dude. I think she's coming back. Maybe. Um, I don't know, man. Oh, I lost where I was here. Damn it, you do always this thing. Oh, I lost I lost the Super Chats. What the hell? To why you uh, I wonder who were the Jedi that trained... Is this where I was? I wonder who the Jedi were that trained Grogu. I don't know. Probably all the first, second year teachers. Yoda, definitely. Well. Mundy, maybe. He was there for at least... Mm, 15 years. <laughs> he could have been there for way longer, too. Depends. Yeah, because he, when he was a youngling, he was like... Five, six, maybe. Could have been there for like four. Could have, well, well, no, yeah. no, because yeah, he wouldn't get it the whole time. During yeah. uh, up until Order sixty six, up until the end of the Clone Wars, yeah, which is Order sixty six. Yep. So, how many years is that? From Seven, from before the Phantom Menace, nine years before the Phantom Menace. Uh, twenty. Fifteen years. I think. Yeah, fifteen, twenty, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Anakin comes when he's nine, and then when he's 22. Yeah, so that's 13 years plus nine. Was it 22? Uh, yeah, he was 22, right? Or was he 19? Yeah. I think he was 22. When he, when he executed wild. Order 66, he was... Or was he 24? I don't know. Hmm. Yeah. I, mean, I don't think they're going to leave us like hanging on that forever. I think we're going to get some answers. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. But there will be questions. Like, we're not going to like get a play by play of his training. You know what I mean? By the way, the holiday special was awful. So disappointed you two weren't honest. Everyone's a punchline except Ray and the school's <laughs> Vader, Luke, say, Yoda. And, okay. I'm not honest. Yeah. Like, who are you? Seriously, who are you? Wasn't like, I the person who didn't like it? <laughs> yeah. I think we were both about as candid as you can be about it, actually. Yeah, pretty sure, Devin. I'm so mad you weren't honest. Me. Well, maybe you weren't honest because you liked it, but I was. Oh, <laughs> you see what I mean? Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Boba outsmarted everyone. He effed up the Rebel Alliance in less than seven minutes of screen time. He is the most feared bounty hunter in the galaxy. I like that. Who said that? OG fan when Star Wars was just Star Wars. I like that guy. Where's Lord no. Vito? He's gonna come in there. No! <laughs> he's freaking out. He's f dude, he's freaking out right now. You know he's just watching. He's pissed. Anakin Vader clone. That'd be cool. But he's got to be force sensitive, so it just won't work. So, Fred, thanks. Right. Maul's speech to Ahsoka on power and justice was the best Star Wars dialogue in 20 years. Him talking about Sidious gave me chills. It was good, dude. Whitwer for Emmy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Whitwer in a live action would be what we need. It would be really good. I want to play Dungeons and Dragons with that guy, man. He's like, he's huge into D and D. Yeah. Yeah, he seems like a real cool guy. Yeah. It's just hard with, like, those celebrities. Like, you don't want to come across as, like, a fanboy. And, like, they probably get that all the time. So you don't want to be, like, one of those annoying dudes. So I just, I don't, I don't reach out to anybody. I'm just, like, I don't really I'm just going to get yeah, written off really as, like, a, that. like, a annoying, like, I don't want to be annoying. I don't want to invade their space, you know? Right. Yeah. Yeah. 
they sure. probably get I that enough. I see a lot of people like tagging celebrities or like adding a lot of celebrities, and I yeah, just, like they don't I care. Very, I, like I don't really like doing that. I don't really like. Doing no, that. no. Like leave them alone. <laughs> you know. For sure. It's it's. I don't know. I, I've wanted to, yeah I've wanted to tweet at Sam so many times, but I just feel like shouldn't. Yadel and Yadel on Tython because she left the council for differences in philosophy. She's one of the 19? The lost 20? She didn't leave. She died. I'm, she died? Yeah, Yadel died. In Legends. Huh. Yeah, she caught a bomb to save Anakin. What? Yeah. That's pretty wild. Yeah, dude. Yeah, she didn't leave. Arc Trooper Captain Shooks CT916 is born on Nerd Theory tonight. Also, my real initials. <laughs> cool, man. It's dope. Love you guys. Really look forward to these podcasts. Make my work day go by so much quick and fun. Thank you. Damn, you get to listen to these at your work shift? Cool. Yeah, man. That's nice. Darth Plagueis took him. <laughs> Darth Plagueis was dead. So you thought. Oh, dun, dun, dun. That'd be crazy. Live action Bo-Katan versus Sokotano. Grade them? What does grade them? What does that mean? Grade them, like... Which one's, like, out of ten or whatever? How do you grade the interpretation, the live action interpretation? Both a ten. Agreed. Bo Katan so definitely a ten. a ten. Yeah. So like incredible, dude. Yeah. I think Gideon and his Imperial loyalists are loyal to Vader and Thrawn is loyal to no one, which is why it was easy for Palpatine to use the dark side. Could Mando introduce a live action Sith? How else would Palpatine take over? Yeah, well, you know, there's that thing, is that Snoke had an apprentice other than Ben Solo, so I'm just wondering who the heck that was. Well, and there were Sith loyalists, loyalists seemingly on Exegol the whole time. Yeah. So there's definitely something Sithy going some on. Something going on. It smells Sithy to me. Yeah, man. Master. Do you think that group seeing Din about to be killed by Gideon is what sends Grogu to the dark side and even ends up killing him for this? Whoa. For this? Do you think that... I like that. Grogu seeing Din about to be killed by... Oh, yeah, yeah. That'd yeah. be great. That'd be cool. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, Drafter! Thanks, buddy. Have a good shift, man. Do you think the Council held Anakin back in part because balance of the Force meant overturning the current way the Jedi were acting? I think the Council was just stupid. Yeah. They were, they were buttholes, man. Do you think Tython could be Grogu Yoda Yadel's home planet? No. No, but that's kind of a cool idea. It is. Do you think Thrawn is... Well, you know what? Yeah, now that you kind of think about it, you're like... Those original... The, 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 the Qua. Right. They kind of looked like Yodas. What if a little bit, just qua? no ears. Yeah, maybe. What if that's why she sent him there? Yeah, maybe. There must be a reason. Because she like gave him a look, right? She was like... It's weird. The whole thing feels like there's a lot of context. There's a setup that way. Yeah, there's something going on. The interaction between Soka and Grogu is one that would have gone between Luke and Rey in the last show. It was, oh. Yeah, agreed. Is it possible to see Cal Kestis in the show? And if Maul does come back, how would they do it? With the cloning thing. But he wouldn't be Maul. He would just be a clone of his body. Right. It'd be like um, Logan in, in, in Logan. It'd be like Wolverine in Logan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which was so cool. I mean, who the hell doesn't want to see that? Literally every clone trooper is better than Boba. Just saying, I'd like to see him versus Rex. <laughs> True. Would be cool to Says see. Logan. Thank you, John. Ben Du is on Titan. Wow. That would be. I could wild, see that. Dude. I could see it too. That would be so ballsy of them to do the Ben Du, dude. Pixel, maybe he maybe grew up like Bendu is on Tython, says again. Ben started training when he was 11 and turned 23. Love you, dudes. I look forward to this every Monday. Ahsoka helped 
Ahsoka looked epic in Mando, Baby Yoda was a name drop. Was a dope name, and I'm hyped for the future of Star Wars. Amen. Me too. Do I like Shrek? I love it. Yeah. yeah Shrek's dope. Yeah. Thanks, Creations. Thanks, Robert. Whoa, 100 bucks from Mr. Memes. Do you think there will be more Ahsoka in other shows? Thank you, Mr. Memes. Do you think there will be more Ahsoka in other shows? Yeah, I think she's going to get her own show. Yeah, I can more or less confirm that she will be getting more shows. A, a live action show. Yeah. And that you will probably see Sabine in that show as well. That'd be cool. I like the depressed old Luke because it is realistic. Many people are ambitious. <sighs> Not this again. And optimistic when they're <laughs> young and become jaded as they get old. <sighs> yeah, but then that's the point of a hero is that they pick themselves up again and don't just... Yeah. Plus, it's Luke. It's Luke! It's Luke. Like, get yeah, sad I mean, for six I, months, as Mark Hamill said, and like, then pick yourself up again. Stop being a little... Yeah, it's like Batman. Like, Batman doesn't... He's Batman. Like, he's not going to not be Batman just because he's old. Yeah, just stop being a little B. God damn it. That's not Luke. It's it's fine to have, you know, different moods and be depressed and stuff over life events, but eventually you pick yourself back up. You don't just wallow in it. Cut yourself off yeah. from the force. And, you know, have a little self-respect, man. Don't drink the freaking green titty milk like yeah, that. Yeah, that was God. messed up. He just let himself go, dude. Yeah, and then that like, thing's like, yeah. looking at him like... Mm. <laughs> yeah, He's like what? Force into the sea. Like, oh yeah, I'm a boom, and then... Oh, boom. my father's lightsaber, wow. Yeah. Or what? Just, like, what if he just like, her right in the gut or something? I was sitting there, man, and when I saw that, I... I, 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 I was like, I got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> just you know right from the get go. Is if he took the saber and deconstructed it with the force in front of him, and then made like another necklace out of the kyber, just like the red one that he has. <laughs> what he's like collecting cool. ears, like Dolph Lundgren and yeah. Universal Soldier. He's like, thanks for bringing this to me. And then he just goes back into the hut. <laughs> that would have been cool. Takes out a gauntlet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Oh, now cool. reality is whatever I want it to be. Right? Yeah. I'll never drink the titty milk. <laughs> never again. <laughs> <laughs> when he threw away the lightsaber, he just spit in the face of his father's legacy and every single Star Wars fan. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I added that last part of it. Whatever, Star Wars fan. So if Grogu <laughs> was trained at the Jedi Temple, who taught him... To force heal. Um, True. Ray. <laughs> Maybe. No, I don't know. Um, well, since he's in a dyad with Din Djarin. Yeah. Yeah. Copyright. Thanks, man. Sorry, dude. I'm 32, a prequel kid. I love those movies, but don't act like they're perfect. Sequels ain't that bad. To each their own, bro. To each their own, you know, and when, when the sequels came out, I really liked 9 for um, completely retconning 8. But then I thought about it. I'm like, that doesn't make it okay. It doesn't make yeah. it good, right? Nothing wrong with a bo broken Luke. Kylo failed by inattentive parents, an overambitious teacher, and an evil voice in his head. Instead, we got Casino. <laughs> yeah. Know, right? Yeah, Casino. Agreed. That's what we need, though. We need the context. Right. Do you think Palpatine had something to do with Anakin's mother getting taken? Yeah, so it's actually in the original script. Dooku uh, facilitated that whole thing. But of course, it's not in the original script anymore, so. Yeah. But that was toyed with by, by George, it so. Makes sense. I mean, uh, dude, see, all the visions he has, I think, were Palps. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Cantabite would have made more sense to appear in The Mandalorian than it did in The Last Jedi. So many more possibilities with that one. Oh, I could see that. Yeah. Yeah. Fair. Do you think Rogu's strong attachment for the Sith knob is because... <laughs> for the shift knob is because it resembles a Death Star? 
Why not? Which would go to the theory of his dark side Palpatine connection. No, I think he's just a kid being a kid. The Jedi swept everything Anakin in episode two under the rug and forgotten all about it. Yeah. And so did a lot of fans. Star Wars theory, Star Wars comics theory is that Yadel. Yeah, I don't give a crap about that guy's theories. <laughs> don't even, don't even, don't even mention that guy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Luke Ben show in the vein of Bruce and Damian Wayne, but thanks for the super chat, Star. Uh, Luke Ben show in the vein of Bruce and Damian Wayne. Oh, yes. Yes. So, do you know about Damien at all? Well, he's the next one. Batman Beyond. No, that's Terry McGinnis. Oh, never mind. But Yeah, but Damien does become Batman in like a sort of alternate timeline thing. But Damien is the son. So, Talia... Yeah, I, I don't know then. Cool. Yeah, so she basically tricks Bruce into having sex with her. And then she knows he's Batman, and he and she's literally wants to have a child with him because she views him as like the peak of human. So she tricks him into having a kid. Then she's raising the kid with Raish with the League of Assassins. But then she Al Ghul? basically like, yeah. So that's his grandfather. Mm -hmm. So Damien's grandfather is the demon head. He it is Raish Al Ghul, and then. Damien then gets brought at a young age back to Bruce to train him because it's too dangerous with Raish. So yeah. she ultimately like makes a decision to be and then basically Bruce is trying to like raise this little like version of him with no good in him. He's just like a pure killer. And it's all about like him trying to bring him so back so that Batman. comment he wants to see that with Luke and Ben. I, yeah, I think that's what he's saying is like if I, like Ben being a little Damian Wayne is Totally does it for me. That would be cool. I thought it was Batman Beyond and watched those when I was a little kid Yeah, but no, I guess that not. It's cool too though. Yeah, man. His suit is so cool, but I don't remember much yeah, it's good. I just remember him like training him when he got too old Yeah, exactly. Yep. Yeah. Hey, have you all, have you, you may have covered this, but how did Ahsoka, did Ahsoka know Anakin redeemed himself? I don't think so. Yeah, we talked about that. We don't think so. <laughs> Disney Plus and stuff. It's funny. Hey, massive fan of both of you. You guys helped me get through exams and a hard breakup. Uh, my question right. is, do you think the Mando will eventually, in the end, make the ultimate sacrifice for Grogu? I think so. I think he's going to die. Yeah, very possible. Very possible. Yeah. Luke will show up on Tython. He acquired the sacred texts here. He bestows knowledge to help Din with Grogu. Din keeps Grogu as a foundling and trains him to become the next Jedi Mandalorian Revan. Could work. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you going to bed after this or are you going to game? This is like 11. Uh, this is late for you, man. There was, yeah, there was something else. I, oh, there's something I got to do with, for the channel, and then I'm going to probably, yeah, chill. Okay. Love the content theory. You always manage to keep the spark alive. What are the odds Din ends up being Force-sensitive, almost like Tar Vizsla? Yeah, what are your odds for that? <sighs> I don't want that to happen, bro. I don't know. It could be cool. It could be very cool, but I just... What's ah. your percent? What do you think? You give it like a 30? I give it like a 70. Yeah. 70. Right, I'm giving it a 90%. I oh. feel like it's... I'm... Dude, I'm sold. I'm sold. I'm yeah, sold. I think it's going to happen, but I don't want it to happen. Oh, okay. Well, we'll see. I mean... I don't want him to be like... I, I prefer it if he like really heavily leaned into his Mando stuff and then just occasionally used the Force. Like, he was not really a Jedi. Ooh. He was more like a Mando that, like, just kind of had the Force. Okay, what if he was Force-sensitive and he was going to go train at the Jedi Temple, but then he was found by Death Watch? Right. I mean, he's a little old, but... 
No, I mean, I think that plays. Like, it, it could totally work. A and, yeah, we'll just see. We'll just see how it plays out. It's like if Anakin wasn't found by Qui-Gon, which he has a own, his own theory on, he would have just gone yeah. around being the number one pilot. Yeah. And race yeah. pods. Yeah. Hmm, what if Grogu was taught Vapod in secret by Mace before Order 66? He also could have abandoned Grogu in the same way Luke and Rey were abandoned. Yeah, maybe. Hmm. Maybe, yeah. Vapod, he's pretty far away from that, man. He's like a little baby. Yeah. Hey, guys, great discussion so far. Quick question. Have either of you played Bounty Hunter on GameCube? It dropped some Mando history with Django. Uh, I've not. I think I maybe played it, like, way back in the Did day. Did it come out for a, GameCube? I I Dude, if it came out for GameCube, I would have played it. Because I had GameCube. I you, you, you probably played it. I remember it had a lot of the super battle droids, I think, on the cover. Like, super battle oh, droids. And... I remember you could fly around a lot. Is it? Am I thinking about the right thing? I would have been... A lot of those games blend for me, to be honest. I would have been, I think, 10. Did you play Shadow of the Empire? No. No, I would have been older than that. What? Dude, Shadow of the Empire is... Yeah, dope. dude, Shadow of the Empire was the one I played a lot of with my dad. Loved that game. N64 that with Rendar, the cartridges. Right? Yeah, man. Cartridges. Yeah. It was Dash Rendar. It right? was, yeah. With the Outrider. Oh, such a good game. Yeah. Y'all need to play that if you haven't. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Those crazy missions. Yeah. The one where fun. the one where you drop in and you have to shoot the the Sarlacc or whatever the tentacle things with the, in the eye. Ugh. Yeah, that was a cool one, dude. That dude. was a tough one. There was actually you fought Boba in that game too. You did. There was a crazy Boba fight in yep. that game. And he was so OP. Dude, it, as he should be, but yeah, yeah. It was like one of those moments where like you're about to get whooped on for a while. Right, yeah, no, it was a PS2 exclusive, the the, the Bounty Hunter game. It wasn't on... Mm. Um, okay. Yeah. Hmm. Iden Versio and Mando maybe help recruit Kara. I don't want to see Iden Versio. Her storyline, her storyline bugged me so much. Did... What's up? Her storyline bugged me too much. Oh yeah, because you didn't like her father because it was a little predictable, or you didn't like her turning because it was predictable. Yeah, the, like you, you know, the selling the game is you get to play as the Empire, and then all of a sudden, you know. Yeah. It is pretty lame. The, I think a lot of the books have done a much better job of giving us like sort of the insight or the perspective of like the empire right like lost yeah. stars does a great job of this yeah um and yeah like it's crazy like so endor blows up and it's like billions of people but there were billions on the death star yeah so like it's an equivalent kind of thing where like the empire is in shock that all those people died you know so yeah it's pretty wild it is yeah and it's like what that's it's okay for them to die well there's even that dude remember in lost stars that's from endor and he becomes he like sort of becomes really crazy as a way to sort of compensate for it where he's his like philosophy on it is like endor was a world full of traitors and if they hadn't been they'd still be around and shit like that like he's like crazy dude where you're like bro are you okay like so yeah there's and that's claudia gray man claudia gray Whew. Do you think we're going to see, this guy wants to see uh, Gideon get slapped in a quick lightsaber duel? Well, if it's Luke, he's about to get clapped up. Oh good. my god, yeah. yeah. What if it's Ahsoka? Yeah, what if he's wearing the up. dark trooper armor phase 3? I would love it, dude. I would love it. And him going, I think he should be fighting Din head to head, you know what I mean? And then maybe like, he's he doesn't like his odds and then he brings in the troopers and then it just gets crazy or something. Yeah. Like, cause I think also too, and a lot of people pointed this out that, uh, did you watch game of Thrones? Yes. So he's the, he uses the spear in game of Thrones, right? Yeah. So now he's got the spear in this. It's kind of full circle. Yeah. It was funny, but he was like, it didn't really help him in the end though. It didn't, but maybe he'll get a redemption now, you know, what if he gets his eyes poked out again? <laughs> right. Freaking Din Djarin's like, ah. yeah. Pedro takes off the helmet, like, now I get the helmet off. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, jeez. 
Possible that Jedi Council held back Anakin because they were afraid to lose their power if true balance of the force is achieved. Nah, I just think they were buttholes. Yeah, they were just, they just, were they were just lost stupid. Old dogmatic men. Yeah. Yeah. Old celibate. Yeah, men. What are the chances of someone getting a Star Wars job, etc., without a degree? These days, degrees what? are a dime a dozen, dude. Some of the biggest companies on the planet no longer require a degree. Google no longer requires a degree. Tesla no longer requires a degree. Any company that's truly on the edge, and if they still are not allowing fantastic people in just because of a degree, they are ridiculous, and you don't want to work for them anyway. Yeah. My in my opinion, I don't think a degree means all that much. It doesn't mean nothing. There's so many idiots with a degree. Believe that. Yeah. Believe I mean, having a degree that. doesn't make you superior or, or more destined to be successful at whatever you want to do. It just means that you spent a lot of money to take some courses you probably don't really care about and you just had to. Yeah. 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 It's, uh, the world I think getting your master's or your PhD is a different story. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, especially depending on your what you're doing, right? Mm -hmm. Like... If a lawyer needs a lot of school, a doctor needs a lot of school, an yeah. engineer needs a yeah. lot of school, right? Um, but a sound designer, maybe not, you know, like a choreographer. No, maybe sound not, designer you know? needs a lot, dude. I think most of the stuff that sound designers do today can literally be learned on YouTube for free. Are you talking about like a sound engineer? Yeah. I think he, that's I think so. that's hard. You got you to gotta learn a lot of stuff, no? I'm... So I would say that getting like the final master version of audio, depending on what it is, that would be very difficult. Mm. But as far as like taking it to a very professional level, I'm sure you could learn that. I mean, it's it's only a few steps removed from what we do with balancing our audio and like looking at the effects and stuff like that. But I would agree with you that like like music music if you listen to it on like a big file not like an mp3 but like an actual big file like you're gonna notice a lot of bad design you know but most music these days is compressed anyways most of the audio gets compressed whether it's streams uh, uh mp3s like mm. everything's shit uh quality these days anyway mm. Mm. Love from the UK. Do you think Master Sanubi inspired Ahsoka to make her lightsabers white like his? Also, what do you think happened to him? I don't know what happened to him. I hope we find out. Yeah. 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 But going back to that, I don't know what are the chances of someone getting a Star Wars job, etc., without a degree. I don't know. Because I'm not in the hiring process. You. I don't know what it takes. Bring, like, a lot of value. So, like, I think if you... Um... Like, think about Rosario Dawson. She more or less got the job kind of because of, like, fan art and just being a big fan, right? Uh, if mm. you were an animator and you made a Star Wars fan animation and it was, like, lights out, I think you'd get hired for something. You know what I mean? Like, if you... There's all sorts of examples of, of stuff like that. You you just have to be talented. Hmm. They're not just going to hire you... Because you have a social media hired. following. <laughs> yeah, or even... Like, that stuff yeah, doesn't like, mean like, crap, man. Value. Yeah. That doesn't that doesn't mean anything. Yeah. Writing a story where Plagueis returns after nine to build in the unknown takes a Chiss and human apprentice to Tatooine for the sabers. Where would you go next? So what's the story again? I, so Thrawn. No, Plagueis return? returns after nine to oh, build right. in the unknown takes a Chiss and human. I'd apprentice. love it. The next thing I would do is have Plagueis, because I would do the Skywalker twins, and then I would make Plagueis manipulate one of the Skywalker twins to fall to the dark side. Well, no, but this and is after that, episode nine. Yeah, I have a theory that Rey was pregnant with twins at the end of episode nine. Oh. And so if she has those twins, I would just turn one of them dark, and then it's that same old song and Well, dance. it's just too much, yeah, that's just too much similarity, I think. Uh... Poetry. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Um, end of season two to three, Grogu accepts the force, but witnesses Moff Gideon kill Din. Grogu refuses Moff Gideon. Luke finds him, and Grogu renounces the force. That's lame. Yeah, I don't... 
I don't know about that. Yeah, I don't know about that. Um, thanks, Kent. Do you guys think... Who? Triclops? Who? Triclops. Triclops? I don't know, dude. That's... Yeah, I don't know what that is. Hey, dudes. Stay okay in this COVID times. Thanks for your hard work. May the force be with us. With Star Wars, I am joining late at 7 a.m. in Moscow now. So my question is, Luke's image or full reveal till the end of season two? I Yeah, dude. So in the end of season two, I want to see um, the side of his saber hanging from his hilt. Side angle, yeah. and then we see Din through him. Yeah, something like that would be great. And I do think it would be really, really cool if, like, that was... I'm okay with that being a cliffhanger. I guess I'm just a little jaded from, you know, what happened with, you know, episode 7 and 8. But uh, You liked you it, liked 7 and 8, though. I... Hmm. I like... Make up your mind, boy! No, nah, man, like, I did... I have made up my mind. Like, they're serviceable movies to me, and I like them, but, like, they're the they're definitely the worst trilogy, and, like, they should have been so much better. So it's, like, tough right. because it's... There's definitely stuff in there that, like, I do not think was handled well. Um, I, I kind of want Luke now. I, I don't really want to do the cliffhanger thing, but I understand where people well, are. I want Luke that. now, too, but, I mean, yeah. they got to re rate Rake us in for the next one. Reel us in for the next one. Does Maul come back and faces Luke in season three? That'd be cool. I give Ahsoka a ten, Bo a nine, only because she smiled too much out of character, in my opinion. What? I think that's in character. Yeah. Come on now. What if Luke was eaten by the Wampa before he can talk to Han Solo? Mm, okay. Well... <laughs> That's like one of those memes that it's like. <laughs> They're written I mean, and directed by George Lucas. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Written and directed by George. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, well, then Ben Ben Kenobi as a ghost would ignite the saber within Luke within the Wampa's stomach, and then I don't know. There you go. Don't make I me like think that. of stupid stuff. What <laughs> if Snoke is an attempt of cloning Anakin? No. Maybe that'd be cool actually. Google. Oh yeah, I already saw Boss Logic, Sebastian Stan. Yeah, it looks good. Looks great. Yeah, it looks really cool. The guy's super talented. Dude, he's super talented. You ever meet him? No. Did you? Super cool, dude. Oh yeah, yeah. That's a that's a boss logic there. That I have two signed boss logics on the wall. Nice. That's uh, R D J as the Burger King, <laughs> and then I've got Darth Ray, uh, Dark Ray on the back actually. That's sweet. Yeah. No, he's a super friendly, really cool guy, man. Nice, man. Does he have like a store or something or? Yeah, I think he sells a lot of prints offline, but, mm -hmm. like, he's big at cons, right? So, like, I always try to see him when I go to New York Comic Con. I bet, Or, dude. you know, if you go to San Diego. or uh, He he only does some. Uh, he lives in Australia, so, you know, the States. Traveling to the oh, States I didn't know crazy. that. Yeah, yeah, he's an Australia guy. So, traveling to the States is crazy, and um, he does the big cons, basically. So that's cool yeah, hopefully yeah. we'll meet him someday dude that oh would be yeah, yeah i'd love that i'm a big fan of his work i think he's really talented i was supposed to yeah like last time when i was in new york because like one of his buddies armin uh the king's letter is is an incredible designer and like 3d artist as well and we were all supposed to do um dinner i think last time i was in new york but we just didn't do it so i've I'll never been to new york what yeah, I'd love to go. I was in the airport. Well, it used to be real cool before 2020. So mm. <laughs> nowadays, you don't got to worry about it too much. Yeah, I'd love to see it. I feel like I'd love it. <coughs> yeah, it's a fun it's a fun city, man. Usually they come in twos. Ever notice how Vader <laughs> still completes the duties of an apprentice by overpowering Palpatine and killing him? Oh, yeah. So, if Ahsoka meets Luke, then she will learn that Vader was redeemed, and Luke will learn that Anakin was a, like as a Jedi. They would both get closure. I agree. How Mark I, from Collider feels about the episode. I actually haven't talked to Mark about the episode. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. I bet he liked it. But then again, Mark's funny like that, dude. I remember after season one, the episode with Quill, with the, uh, 
whatever they're riding. Blue guy? No, like the... the oh, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. Cool. So Mark sends me the photo of them going over the cliffs with those things and literally just is like, WTF is this crap? <laughs> literally just like sends me like that and he's like, I could tell he was fired up about it. Wow. Yeah. Do you think Ezra will turn Sith because of his constant fight between the light and the dark side and rebels? Maybe. Uh, Moff Gideon is a cyborg like Vader. No. I don't think so. Bruh. Theory missed like all five of my soups. Oh, I'm sorry, man. I probably missed a, a bunch. You guys can tweet me if you want. Um, I'll make like a thread for any of the ones that I missed. Uh, I always feel bad about it, but you guys... Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. To Twitter! <laughs> Brock, hey guys. Love in the stream. In the Bloodline novel, the Amexine warriors leave the galaxy to get away from Tor. What would y'all think if they set a series in another galaxy? Would it undermine? Josh, you'd know this. I wouldn't mind going into another galaxy um i think there's some danger in if you do that does it take away the significance of everything else and i think part of the thing is these are really connected stories right and so like yeah. when you literally go to a different galaxy it, it's kind of weird um the vong technically come from a different galaxy and come into ours which is interesting um, but yeah, we could see something like that. I don't think I would necessarily be super against it. What about you? What do you think? I don't know enough about Bloodline. I mean, Bloodline's dope. I don't even remember that part of it, though, to be honest with you. So I don't necessarily know what he's... With a lot of the books I've read, I've skimmed through it and read a lot of the more important parts. Yeah. Like, I'll type in keywords. But as for sitting down and reading the entire thing start to finish, I have to really be enthralled with the book. Me too. Otherwise, I'm not just going to read it because it's got Star Wars on it and so I can say I read everything I don't care me too me yeah too. I have to really like it yeah um do you think you need a degree for writing no no way dude come on man. no why would you need a degree for writing no if you write Brandon good stuff that's your degree do you know who Brandon Sanderson is? He, he's this incredible author. All of his lectures he teaches at university, all of his lectures are free on YouTube. Oh, cool. Like, just, you could, yeah. You don't need a degree for that. Are you guys excited for The High Republic? Any specific books that interest you? Um, not really excited, to be honest. Yeah, I'm going to check out Charles Soule's stuff and then maybe other stuff if I hear it's really good, but I'm not as excited as I initially was. Really excited to see if I win the lightsaber. Wanted one for a while, but I'm broke. Uh, yeah, David, that's not how it works. I, I'm just going to literally like scroll either Instagram or Twitter and then land on one and then choose a random person, and then I'm going to put them in touch with the owners of Corbinth, and that's it. So... It's not like a pay-to-win system, but I... Yeah, hey, I'm gunning for you, man. Maybe my finger will land upon your name. Who knows? Ahsoka always had that smile or smirk in the Clone Wars, and I think the actress pulled it off beautifully. I agree. To me, Luke has to be Mark. I think they could DH him for one episode. I agree. Could be, but, dude, Mark is... I mean, he's just really... Di looks very different than he did when he was younger. So, I don't know. Triclops is Palpatine's third eye insane son in the youth books. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Never heard about that. What do you think of Ahsoka being the one who actually brought balance to the Force? Neither being a Jedi or Sith. By the way, love your channel. Thanks, man. Uh, yeah, like she could be the daughter, the embodiment of the lights. Whoa, yeah. whoa. Well, yeah. Maybe. Theory, what if Din gets killed at the end of the series? Yeah, it's possible, but I don't think so. Yeah, end of the series, yes, not season. Star Wars a TV as TV seems to be working out perfectly. What do you think the next trilogy to be about and who do you want directing it? The, the same people. Yeah. yeah no, it's like, the same people I, directing I, everything from now on. 
Yeah, I would say John, if they went that route where John was sort of doing the movies and Dave was doing the shows, I mean, they've got a plethora of great people now. I mean, yeah, there's there, there's a ton of cool people. And they can pull from Marvel, too. I think they're already bringing in Marvel people, so, um, yeah. I feel like we need to restart a lot of what happened in the last trilogy. No Rey, no Luke, none of any of that. Kind of want Ahsoka and a hidden Jedi make this work with Grogu. Sith push would also be good. Tired of good guys. Me too. Me too, 100%. man. Sith for the win. Do you need a degree for writing? Right, I already read that. No, and I'll reiterate, I think degrees, for the most part, don't really mean anything unless it's like a specialty, like being a doctor or an engineer or a yeah. um, lawyer. Never read my super chats. Want to know what you think? Yeah, Nicholas, tweet me, man. I'm so sorry. And, you know, there's no guarantee that I'll answer all super chats. It's just tonight you guys are super generous. And um, I want to answer all of them. So I'm going to go on Twitter and um, just, yeah, comment under a thread that I'm going to put in like a minute once I end this. Yeah, but, and I'll take it. I'll keep an eye on it. Yeah, I'm not, I, like, always on twitter but i'll keep an eye on it i'll chime in there too so yeah. i'll tell you this i'm never on twitter i literally just post my stuff and i leave that is it that's how i do it now okay so nathan i found it possible that the jedi council held back and i did read it yeah we talked about that you must have been in the party or something oh no wait that was nicholas he had the same picture oh damn it Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. What about when Grogu reaches out through the Force at Tython? That's how Ezra has his way back for the Unknown Regions Thrawn also, like, finds his way back through that? Maybe. Regarding yeah, the badge... Kind of interesting. Yeah, that could be cool. Finds his way home through that? Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of like a... Similar to the Skywalkers in a way. That's Insidious way sort of... Yeah. You remember Insidious, the horror movie? Oh, no, I haven't seen that, actually. Oh, right, you don't no. like horror movies, right? All right no, right. I really don't like horror movies. Dalton, listen to the sound of my voice. Follow my voice. Yeah, you guys know what I'm talking about. Yeah, you guys know what I'm talking about. Too scary. My reaction to the last Mando episode was the same as yours, where I cried. Yeah. I'm a little baby. Good High Republic know. Space Vikings seem like a ripoff of the Mandalorians. The Mandalorians especially are Space Vikings. Yeah, I I don't know. You know, I, I'm, I'll see what happens when it comes out, and if it's cool, it's cool, but... Um, yeah. Josh, you got anything else to say? I mean, I feel like it's three and a half hours now, and I know Holy you're about to go cow. to bed. Um, no, no, man. I just uh, want to reiterate that, uh, man, things are great right now. I'm so happy that so many of you guys are finding this podcast enjoyable, and we're going to keep it up. And Dude, I love doing time. that. I look forward to every Monday doing this. Every Me Monday too. and Friday for the, the podcast and the watch party. Yeah. It's been great, dude. This has been a great series of weeks, and just i feel honestly surreal a little bit about all of it still you know that's like mm. crazy what if it was a mandalorian not a jedi who saved grogu from the temple and that's why he loves mando well what if he lo what if it was a clone that's why he loves mando because of the helmet Ooh, yeah right i like that what if thrawn's reunited with the chase and captured ezra maybe possible it is possible yes well, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed this long podcast. They're usually supposed to just be an hour, but we really end up talking hard, for like there ever, so and much. then yeah. I end up having to read the super chats, and it, it goes on so long. But you know, we I love the super chat stuff though, because I love like just kind of like on the spot, like what are they thinking? You know what I mean? Yeah, and it's like a fan interaction kind of thing, and yeah. you know, with super chats, it 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 weeds out a lot of the stupid comments. <laughs> Yeah, because they're paying the their their money to to have something out there. I yeah, mean, except yeah. for like sometimes it's pretty bad. The cheese, yeah. I love the cheese question though. <laughs> or that dude who was pissed at you. I know, right? Be honest. No, the other guy who's like, you spoiled it, spoiled it for me with your thumbnail. Obviously, I didn't spoil it for a lot of people. Yeah. No, you know what's funny? You know what? You know what actually is funny about that? I posted uh, some of my breakdown video at the end. I wrote Ahsoka Tano, and someone was like, 
I can't believe you spoiled it. I was just scrolling YouTube and now I know that Ahsoka's in it. Oh my god. I'm like, you obviously don't watch The Mandalorian. Yeah. Why are you here? She's been literally yeah. talked about and built up to come in this episode for like the last two episodes. Yeah. What is wrong with you? Like, why are you just complaining? Like, yeah. go away. You don't even watch Star Wars. Yeah, man, people. It's so annoying. Anyways. Whatever. Uh, what if Ahsoka is sending Din to Tython because she's already there on her search for Ezra? Oh, maybe, yeah, they'll meet up. I hope they meet up. I hope it's not the last time we see her. Yeah. We will see Ahsoka again. She's the one pursuing Thrawn. One would hope. Yeah. Din will raise Grogu as a Mando. Yeah, that's what I think, too. It'll be like... I think, I think Grogu's going to be the Force-sensitive Mandalorian. Good very well be yeah but i also kind of like wouldn't mind if they go separate ways at some point and there's like that cool we're back moment yeah you know what i mean okay i i wouldn't mind it either way so okay fair enough well guys thank you so much we appreciate you we love you we will uh hopefully try to answer some of you on twitter so mm -hmm. Off to the tweets we go. Uh, good luck on the contest, and I'll probably close that, uh, I don't know, like tomorrow or something like that. So, um, or maybe even before that. We'll see. Anyways, I'll let you guys know on Twitter, on social media. Catch you guys later. Hope you have a great day. And uh, we still haven't figured out an outro, but here is the intro once again. Whoop, whoop.